shipping at 973-223-5845. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Contact Mary Camito for an auto quote today. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true to putting others before ourselves the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. Come visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours. specialize in roofing and siding that includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Step-by-step -step painting and general contracting your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout Northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step -step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. 
Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. At Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. Majestic Flowers and Gifts. Your trusted family owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. 
That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Autosport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max. MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us, Paul Miller Fastlane. What else would do it? Buy a car, trade a car, finance a car, have it delivered completely online. This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. George J. Keller and Sons wants your house to be the, the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed, so give a call. We'll take your task, transform your home, that's what... The goal, we reset, and T.J. Santeda has it for the Vikings. Santeda brings it right past two defenders. Look at the speed in the open eye. Santeda, great stick handling, great shot. Here's Carlotti, oh, oh. the end zone, it is... Cut! Charge. Look for the pass. Here's a shot. Right in front. Score! And that is a base hit. The run will score. And freshman pull check. Gets the strike. Anthony Grouso is going to make sure that the Wolfpack fans go home happy. Grouso for three. He got it! Ah! And welcome to Don Smolin Field here on the campus of Lenby Valley Regional High School in Stanhope, New Jersey, as Morris Sussex Sports presents 
junior college football as it's the Sussex County Community College Skylanders who come in a record of 5-2 and two under their first-year head coach, James Robertson, take on the Erie Cats who come in a record of 3-6 and six under their head coach, Mike Kemp, who's in his third year with the as the head coach, but a longtime coach on the college level, coaching stops at Plymouth State and Utica. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dan Clear. Thank you for joining us. Hey, it's a nice 54 degrees here in Stanhope, and our game time weather and temperature brought to you by ICS. Go to ICSHVAC.com, keeping you warm when it's cold and keeping you cold when it's warm. So that's our friends at ICSHVAC.com. And we want to thank Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere. Go to Sussex.edu for information on open houses, registration for the spring uh, semester. Also, we have winter classes. And everything you need to know about Sussex, please check out Sussex.edu. I want to thank Dr. John Connolly, the president, Corey Homer, athletic director, Todd Poltersdorf, Tracy Smith in the athletic office, and Kathleen Peterson in the marketing department as well for helping us get these games on. We're going to have the National Anthem. When we come back from the Anthem, we'll talk a little bit about this game with my partner, J.P. Beebe. National Anthem has been played. We're getting ready for some football here. So bring in my partner, Sussex Tech assistant coach, former Pope John player and, and coach J.P. Beebe. Uh, J.P., we talked off camera before here. This is the team, Sussex. They went on the road last week, uh, saw one of the best junior ju college programs in the nation, and Georgia military took their lumps 73-6, but literally took their lumps. Got some big injuries. James Lopestein, their quarterback, out. Craig Ships, their number one tight end, out. And Mason Casenza, one of their linemen, not available today. So this is a team that faced adversity last week, and now they got it this week with a game they need to win if they want to keep their hopes of getting that sixth win. No, I, I agree, Dan. I tell you, that, that that loss last week, you know, you look at that big lopsided score, and, and we both know, I mean, you know, college football, scores like that sometimes are not that uncommon. Um, winning sometimes is just not enough on a college level, you know, especially on this level where – these players are looking to get recruited by, by bigger programs. I mean, they're going to showcase themselves, you know, for the entire four quarters. But that being said, a score like that, you know, you got to have some doubts in yourself, you know, after playing in a game like that. Now you're looking at the injuries that you just talked about, and they're playing a, and they're playing a good Erie team. So this game is a, is a, is going to reveal a lot of character about, about this uh, Skylander team. Without New program. They're up and coming. They, they have to erase that, that nightmare they had last week. Forget about it. This is a new day. This is a new dick game, and this is a big game for them. So they, they're going to they're gonna have to pull up the bootstraps and make something happen here. Selvin Savio will kick off. So getting the start at quarterback when they have the ball will be Jaden Mead Cooper, who we saw against Hudson Valley he got the start and did very well. So I don't think you'll see a tremendous drop off, if any, we'll, but we'll see how they respond to an Erie team that picked up a win last week beating Alfred University's JV team 14-7. Damian Littleton had two touchdowns, also had 59 yards. And Frank Trotta got to play at quarterback. He was 7 of 14 for 84 yards. We'll see if he gets to start today. Uh, normally their uh, regular starting quarterback has been Eric Wilson. 
So they're three and six, and they'll get the ball first. Last year they played at Highmark Stadium where the Buffalo Bills play. It was quite a treat for both programs. Their home field is literally right next to the stadium there in Orchard Park. So uh, that was a quite a thrill for everyone last year, and they pulled it out 20-17. to 17. They had a defensive stand late in the game to win it. Sussex did. So we'll see how they fare against the Cats today, who, as we said, came in 3-6, and six, lost the Region 3 championship game to their arch, uh, arch rivals from Hudson Valley, 7-6. And they lost to Hudson Valley early in the year, 14 to 12. So two heartbreaking losses to their big rival. And we saw that game with the Skylanders in Hudson Valley, you know, a few weeks ago over at Sparta High. Trout at quarterback, and that'll be incomplete, second and 10 from the 25. And that was, that was a big offensive showing uh, for the Skylanders in that game. And uh, their starting quarterback didn't play the majority of that game either. Their backup came in and, and, and did a fantastic job. The offensive line. Jamari Coleman, number 50. Also number 70 out there. Elijah Billingsley, number 50, 68, excuse me. No, that'll be 58. We don't have the 58 on the roster. We'll get the rest of it. But try to add it a gun. So he got the start last week. The handoff inside and plowing forward. Actually, it's number 66, but climb forward on the carry. Yeah, third and six. With Damian Littleton, number 15. The ball and will be spotted at the 29-yard line. The rest of it out, Skylar Burke, 66. Number 77, Rashid McCain. And their number one receiver is number two, Jalen Weathers. I have to keep an eye out for Mr. Weathers. Got 50 catches this season. Trotter's going to keep it. And Tyshawn Jack wearing number 16 with the stop. So Tyshawn Jack wearing 16 today. Their defense today. On the line, you'll see Lamar Brown, number two. Benji Guard, 11. Breon Askins, 20. Elijah Heisen, number four. Down tackles, you'll see Amari, uh, Amari Drive, 55. Javon Henderson, 75. And the linebackers, Ahmad Peoples at middle linebacker, 41. Emmett Prather and Will Linebacker, 7, and Tyshawn Jack, 16. Then their terrific secondary, Jacques Alford, number 3, and Darrell Fletcher are your corners, 13. And Brian Vargas, 10, and Darry Felix, number 6. So Vargas back deep, and we're going to have a penalty. So a punting situation here. Punting for Hudson Valley is number 33, Julius Perry. So... Well, did they get the timeout? No penalty was a timeout. Those good news, bad news weeks for Sussex. Bad news, they lost to a team they, you know, they were hoping to be a little bit more competitive with. But they had some good news on November 25th. Getting a, they're going to get visits to Syracuse. It would be Craig Ships, James Lobstein, Benji Guar got an offer from Moorhead State. So Coach James Robertson, obviously he wants to win games and develop players. And it's what he's doing this year, J.P., uh, that's, I tell you what, it's great for the program. I mean, you're looking to come here as a football player, and you're seeing the players that are coming out of here and going to that D1 program. That's what junior college is all about, you know, the athletic aspect of it. Perry will get the punt off, keeps it away from Vargas, and Sussex will have it first and 10. So that Sussex defense has been terrific all year. Forces the punt. We'll give you their <clears throat> offense. We'll see. Jaden Mead Cooper, number eight, a quarterback, 26 of 38 for 365 yards and five TDs. We saw him. Engineer a couple of scoring drives against Hudson Valley. And back healthy at running back, which is good for them. Jaden Murphy, 53 carries at 378 yards. We might see some also in, in running back, Quartier's Bird. And we might see Taylor Sibley's the Newton product, who was played last week. So first and 10 from the 41. And the give is the Bird, and he's tripped up short gain. And on the tackle for the Cats. Number 13, Dion Cahey. He's their, one of their leading tacklers along with Matt Hilty, 22, and Jason Guan, number 18 for the Cats. We'll give you the rest of the starting lineup for Sussex. Second and eight from the 44. B. Cooper dumps it off, and it's complete. And making the catch for Sussex. Yeah, we saw a lot of him um, last time against 
Um, Hudson Valley, I, I like how he throws the ball. He uh, has a nice touch to it, and he's not afraid to pull it down and run with it either. Absolutely. Which is not there. But they got to replace James Lobstein, who's half of their offense, throwing and, and, and rushing. So third down from the 48. Well, at the play action, Mead Cooper is complete. And that's going to be a first down, a nice throw to Juwan Fouché, and Sussex will get the first down. But that's really good stuff about the, the, these, these Skylanders get, getting those looks on these big programs. That's the name of the game in junior college. Having these big programs grab you up. Swings it over, and that's going to be caught by Derek Ramos. He's going to get two, and pops out, but was he down? They're going to say he was down. But with chips out, they were down to one tight end, Aubrey Green, number 83. So that's a position that they use a lot in this offense. Zach Sally, the offensive coordinator, who uh, was a coach at Oklahoma State before coming here, likes to use the tight end, but they're just down to one. I like to hurry up offense here. They're just trying to get in the rhythm and get going and keep rolling with it. Second five from the 36. Handoff inside. And that'll be a first, close to the first down. Be a little short. Now, I, Jaden Murphy doing a good job back there. Third and one. And he gives to Murphy again, and he gets that first down all by himself, but that's coming back. We got a flag. Yeah, we're going to get a hold on the left side there. Offensive line, Jonas Coleman getting D1 looks, number 74. Mike Reed, 52. Billy Quinn, number 77. Coleman's a big body, man. That's a good He's offensive line. It's a D1 tackle body. Tackle, yeah. I'm sure they're getting looks. They're huge out there. Jason Wohler, 72. But they play fast, you know, and they're in shape. They're running at this, the this hurry-up offense. We've seen this a lot. And, and the line doesn't wilt under, under the, the up-tempo here. And Mike Reed, the other member of that offensive line. After the penalty, will make it third and about 11 from the 42. And we're going to see him air it out here. <laughs> Motion. Me Cooper. Off the play action's going to roll. Has a receiver open, incomplete. He was looking for JL Cabrera, and they'll set up fourth down. They're going to punt it. They'll send out the punt unit. So good job by the Cats. We mentioned their top guys, Hilti, Kehi, and Guan. Also, big old Douglas Washington out there, too, 99. Big kids out there. Not a bad first drive. You know, I like the up-tempo. I mean, the, the holding killed it, but they were moving the ball pretty well. Back deep is Liam Lindo, number three. And you also have to replace the punter when Lopes Nienes, or excuse me. And a little knuckler, and that'll take a positive roll for Sussex. So punting is Selvin Sabio, the kicker. So, you know, you lose James, you're losing... Not only half your offense, you're losing part of your <laughs> special teams. There's a lot of teams like that. So it'll be first and 10 for Erie. Yeah, stoppage of play here. I think they're trying to get the clock fixed. Oh, we have a emergency broadcast system coming through. We got to wait that out. <laughs> coming on the scoreboard. Or is that... We'll stop it. All right, so the Cats have a first and 10 from the 23. Had a punt their first time. So Trotta is at quarterback. Eric Wilson has been handling most of the quarterback duties all year. 134 for 282. And also had 1,647 yards, nine touchdowns, nine picks. So both teams not playing with their number one guy. Littleton will pick up a couple, get it to the 20, just shy of the 25. We'll call it second and eight. The Tyshawn Jack, number 16 today. He normally wears eight. He's usually all over the field. His jersey got ripped to shreds against Hudson Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Coach was like, yeah, I think there's a little holding going on if my, if my linebacker's getting ripped to shreds. <laughs> yeah. Try to look in the throw, and that's going to be complete. But it'll be short of the first down. Jalen Weathers, who comes into this game with 50 catches with the grab. Weathers 50 for 493. 
Trent Johnson, number four, got to keep an eye on. 38 catches for 560 yards. Both teams early are trying to establish that passing game. Try to break something loose early. Third and three for the Cats from the 30. This defense has been great all year. Except when they ran into Lackawanna, into Georgia Military, but that's just another level. And that's where the level Sussex wants to get to. Well, you're not going to know, you know, when you're talking about building your program and, and where you are and where you need to be, those are two <laughs> and good measuring sticks. Boy, he just took a shot trotter on the yeah. handoff from Lamar Brown. Littleton with the carry is going to be short of the first down, so does Coach Mike Kemp take a chance? No. Mike Kemp on the Wall of Fame at Notre Dame for wrestling. Wow. Wrestled at Notre Dame and was a walk-on back in the 70s. Okay. Around that Rudy time. And then has had a very good career coaching on the Division three level and two level. Coached at Plymouth State, Utica. Right. So uh, Erie's got a good man in charge to get, get this program going. So it'll be fourth down. See if they have a long, long snap here to see if Sussex jumps low. And they come after but getting rid of it is Perry. Vargas will catch it on the 39 in a great open field tackle. Good job. Rushing down there and making the stop. Number 36, Sean Martin. I thought he fair catch it on that, but no, he was. Vargas likes to go. Back there. He doesn't like fair catch Mr. Vargas. He likes to take off. So Sussex will have their second possession with 8.36 to go here in the first quarter again. I want to thank Sussex County Community College. Start here, go anywhere, go to sussex.edu for all the information. Ball at the 44. We're going right back into it. No, no huddle, up tempo. Murphy and Mead Cooper. And then trips to the sideline. The only person slowing it down is the ref right now. <laughs> Aubrey Green, Jabril Cabrera, and Aaron Young back from injury number four. That's worth no noting. Young is a big play type guy. One on one Got coverage him. and oh. incomplete. He was looking for Brian Dorsey. Second yeah, and ten. Side. Hey, uh, JP, just want to take this time to send our condolences to Kathleen Peterson's family. Her mom passed away this week. So everyone at Sussex County Community College would like to send our condolences to Kathleen and her husband, Craig, and all the people affected by their, her mom's death. Mom was a great lady. I would see her at games when Kathleen's daughter played lacrosse right. for Vernon back in the day, Steph Peterson. So we send your best to you, Kathleen, and your whole family. Absolutely. And off the play action, they're going to dump it off, and that's Green, the tight end. He's got room. And flags all over the place. This looks like the same officiating crew from the Hudson Valley game where we had 38 penalties. I don't know what this is going to be. If it's going to be a face mask? What are they looking at? We'll see. That was a nice play by Green. And everybody's He's throwing flags there, so they're looking to mark. They're looking to come back, so it yeah. looks like it's going to be on the Skylanders. Blocking the back. The Holding. hold. That's what killed their last drive. Yes, indeed. So make it second and nine from the 44, or second and 10 from the 44. We'll bring it right back. There had to be a hold after the catch. That's what it was. Right. And it was down, downfield. Downfield. Mead Cooper with Murphy to give us to Murphy. Tries to cut it inside. And a nice tackle sliding in, making the stop. Matt Hilty, we talked about him being one of the top tacklers on this team. He made a nice stop right there. Yes, he did. Ball at the 46, pick up two, third and eight. Well, this was a defensive battle last year, so no reason why this wouldn't be, especially with the key players out for Sussex. Well, Trip, trips to the far sideline. E. Cooper looking, looking for his man, Aaron Young. That should be a hold. And no. a lot of hand fighting, no flags. No. And it'll be fourth and eight. Good coverage there. Well, the first two drives, you got two holdings that have, that, that have Squashed this the Skylander drives, both of them. Julius Perry, good coverage. Also getting back there for the Cats. Jobeth Menga. All right, so Sabio's first punt was kind of shaky, but got the job done. 
Let's see how he handles this one. Better snap. They're going to come after it, and he does get rid of it. Low knuckler. And it will take another. So he's done a nice job. Now They're not Picassos, but they're <laughs> <No>. working. <laughs> like my father used to say, if it does the job, it's perfect. That's right. So Erie will get it back. So we're trading punts in this one. And again, James Robertson said what we said. This is a test of their character. You know, we're missing it key is. guys today against a good team. They're three and six, but they play a lot of junior uh, JV teams from universities. Like they, right. play, they play Buffalo State's JV, Brockport, SUNY Brockport. They played Alfred last week. Yep. Right. Lost to Nassau 27-3. Beat Thaddeus Stevens 27-24. So this is not a bad club at all. So first and ten from the from the ten for the Cats. Try to quarterback. Five eight one sixty four freshman. Handoff, trying to bounce to the outside. Nicely done in a great open field tackle. We got a late flag in there. Darry Felix with a great tackle. This is gonna be a hold on here. This, mm -hmm. this is gonna be half the distance. That was like that's where you draw up how to tackle someone. Oh, that's that was perfect, that's how you do it. Perfect form. So we'll walk this back. A great tackle. So we'll walk this back. Umpire will walk it off. But like you're saying, Dan, this, this this is a this is a really big game for both teams, because of the injuries that that they're fighting against, you know, both of them, and that big loss that that the Skylanders had last week. It is. It's going to reveal character on both these teams. So first and fifteen from the five, try to out of the gun, and a big hole bouncing through that huge hole, and getting positive yards there. Khalil Fenn, sophomore out of Rochester. And off to so that'll get a lot of that penalty yards back. Yards. Working the sticks today, sticks today, the great Mike Lipscomb, along with Ryan and Sean Neal. So it'll be second down. Good run by Fenn. Second at about three. From 23. I uh, checked the, the 17. Trips to the far sideline. And trying a little shovel pass. That looked like a shovel pass. What do you think? Like almost got picked off. Almost got picked. That if it would have went to the ground, it would have been an incomplete, incomplete pass. That was definitely a shovel pass. Oh, they're going to call that a fumble, Coach. They, they marked it at the line where the ball came. <coughs> Kind of looked like a shovel pass it to did. me. It did. It did look like a shovel pass. The ball will be back at the 15. That ball's in the air. It didn't get knocked in the air. Right. <clears throat> so that would have been a fumble if, if Sussex recovered that because they're marking it where the ball went down. It's so a third and five from the 15. Try to look at the throw. And at the punt. They're going to have to punt. They're going to be they're going to be kicking out of their own end zone here. And Sussex, as we've seen them four or five times this year, they love going after the punt. This so this is a great opportunity for them to come after it. This is the time to do it. Again, Eric Wilson's been the Norman regular starting quarterback for the Cats. Not playing, didn't play last week. And the win over Alfred, not playing today. So the Cats. Like Sussex missing their number one receiver, uh, number one quarterback. And Vargas will catch it at the 41. And they're good field possession again. All right, they start the first three drives inside uh, on the other side of the 50. They got to get something on the board shortly. You're not going to have this kind of field position all day long. No, they got to take advantage of it. So, <coughs> Sussex will come out. Jaden Mee Cooper along with 
Jaden Murphy. We might also see Trey Quinlan today. He's a transfer from South Carolina State, a quarterback. He'll be wearing number 13. Pressure comes. They pick it up. Looking for Fouché and broke it up. Almost made a fabulous catch there. <clears throat> Good coverage there by the Cats. And that was Julius Perry. That's like the third time they picked on this corner, so they're seeing something. <clears throat> Both man coverage against the, probably arguably the most athletic big play guy in in Young. Number four can make some great catches. Yeah. And again, it's being man coverage. But keeping it, and he's going to get the first down and more. Still on his feet. Meade Cooper then finally dragged down. And he gets the first down. Tackle made by Harris. And we have another flag? Yes, we do. He's just coming back. But well, we talked about that that beginning of the yep. game. He is so dangerous when he pulls that ball down and decides to run with it. Very good runner. That's going to negate the first down. Another big, another big uh, holding play. That's been the bugaboo of this team all year. They've been their worst own enemy when it comes to penalties. And that'll march it back. Ball at the 46 of Erie. They started at the Erie 41. Yeah. So, second and 15. And it'll be second and 10. Let me get some of it back. So that'll bring it back to the original line of scrimmage where we started at the 41. It should. Five forty-one to go here in this first quarter. Thanks for joining us live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with J.P. Beebe. Thanks for joining us. Beautiful day. <clears throat> Early November here in Sussex County, New Jersey. Mead Cooper, and they're going to get jumped in again. Nope. No flag. Mead Cooper's going to take off, and he's going to pick up another five. He's brought down by Dion Cahey. He'll be stopped at the 35. He'll be third down. Wow, that was a tough spot. Back that to was, 37. Yeah. I thought he was on the 35, so third and seven. <clears throat> and on third and seven is Murphy, and he's tripped oh. up. Big tackle. I think he'd go for it on fourth down here. I think he's going to think do that as well, Coach. Shamar Adams with the tackle. He doesn't make that tackle. Murphy's off for at least the first down. Fourth and seven from the 37. Mead Cooper has time, lofts it up, and broken up. Good defense by the Cats. Liam Lindo playing both ways, it looks like, number three. Both of these corners are having, are having good games early so far. They've, they've gone after both of them with a good defense. So the Cats will get it back. First and 10 from the 37. So they're going to have to try to generate some offense with, with Trotta in there. And it seems like Suss is going after him. Trotta only about 5'8". So right. tough to see over those big offensive linemen. He doesn't run like Cooper. No. <clears throat> or imagine like Wilson as, as well. Wilson had a, having a great year. Freshman out of Pittsburgh. Not starting today, not playing. Didn't play last week against Alfred. On the give. And short gain there. Hand off to Damian Littleton. He had a big hole for a second, but it closed. <clears throat> well, it's those linebackers. Tayshawn Jack. They do a great Ahmad, job filling. Ahmad Peoples and Emmett Prather fly to the ball. Ball he spotted the 40. They'll give him three. Second and seven from the 40. Weathers in the slot. He's their number one receiver. And on the sweep, they're going to hand it off to Trent Johnson. Looks that sweep. And but bumped out of bounds by Vargas. The short out. of the first down. Did a good job. Did they give him the first down? No. Okay. I was going to say, my eyes aren't that bad. Uh, no, yeah. 
Ball at the 45, third and two. Going to get to the 47 for a first down. What a gorgeous day. For November, it's beautiful. Yeah. I was on one of the officials before the game. He said to me, no rain, no snow. This is a great day. Absolutely. And everyone, you know, Erie coming down from Buffalo. This is their southern road trip. This is, this is like playing <laughs> in Miami. <laughs> Hoping Sussex jumps, they don't. Hand off, and they might have jumped. They stopped it either way on third down. We're gonna see who the penalty is against. If it's against Sussex, it's a first down for the Cats. I think it's gonna be another hold. And will be against the Cats. So the spot is short of the first down. Do no. you make it third and seven? What do you call it, motion? Or? Yeah, legal formation. Oh, yeah. So they will push it back to the 40. Third and seven set of fourth and two. And they're moving it again. Ball's on the move. Or he's, Coach Robertson might be declining it to take fourth down. That's uh, what that's he's exactly doing. exactly what he's doing. He declined it fourth down. So the decline the penalty, ball's at the 45. It'll be fourth and two. No gain on that last play. And they're going to punt. And yeah, I would have declined it too. Yes. I mean, they're, they're, they're not going to take that kind of a risk on this side of the, this no, side of the 50. No, not at all. So Perry will punt. And the clock will restart. Vargas back deep. See if the Skylanders come after this. They do. Perry gets rid of it. That's a beauty. Vargas going to field it at his own 14. And great open field tackling right there. Good job. Running down and making that stop and finishing him off is Carl Samuels. He does a good job fielding the punts. He's not afraid. No. He's fearless. He's very sure-handed. That's, sheer, sure that's what you need on special teams. I mean, a punt like that winds up. Bouncing and rolling inside the three if you don't have somebody back there who wants to step up and field it. So first and 10 for Sussex, who has not been able to get on track offensively. We mentioned all the injuries. This is going to be their, their worst field position yes. to, to start a drive on the, on the 15, it looks like. I'm not going to guess where they're spotting. I'm waiting for the official <laughs> to put the ball down. Yeah. It looks like he's got it on the 18. All right. First and 10 from the 18 for the Skylanders. 2.53 to go here in the opening quarter. We still have no score here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Me Cooper will flip it over to Murphy. Murphy trying to get the edge. Turns the corner, and he'll pick up a good five, six yards before he's run out of bounds. Good play on first down down there. Both teams have been, have been testing both edges. You know, we've got good corners on both teams. They're both coming up. Filling and making these tackles. Second five from the 23. Twins to the near sideline. Give us the Murphy again. And he bounces to the other side. And he's upended close to the first down. They're going to give it to him. I think he's got it. Good tackle by Anthony Jefferson. But that'll be a first down for the Skylanders. Ball to 29. They need to get into a rhythm, JP. This is what they need to do. They can't have penalties. When they're in a rhythm, they're in good shape. And they get it to Cabrera. That's a first down and more. And Cabrera will get it inside the 50. Great job. Great yards after catch. And you said they need to get in a rhythm. And the, the first three drives, they were moving the ball. And then, boom, they're short-circuited by a holding penalty. There you see Cabrera gets a good block from Ramos. Off he goes. Breaks tackles. And he's at the 49. First and 10. Play action. B. Cooper looking for Fouché. He makes the catch. Nice throw. And stays in bounds. Threw it in the only place he could. It was good coverage. So Fauci, great job. First down at the 39. So Dan, like you said, I think they're in a rhythm right now. That's what they needed to do. They just can't hurt themselves with penalties. Me Cooper goes up the middle. Tackle made there by Dion Cahey.
Second and short, Murphy looking to throw. He's Has a him. receiver and it's caught, and we're gonna have a flag. That'll probably be pass interference, but who are they gonna call it on? That's the question, Jameer Brown with the catch. They're both bumping and pushing. But by, uh, it looks like it's gonna be an eerie. They're talking, but. We'll see, well, they'll, if it's against the area, obviously they'll take the catch. Sussex will. And here's the call from the official. They're and picking no, it up. No flag, and the result of the play will be what it is, and it'll be first. And let's see what the ball is right on the 10. So is that first and goal or first and 10? If it's outside the 10, okay. No, it's first. Right on the 10, so first and goal from the 10. Because if that ball's outside the 10, you can still get a first down. The placement is huge. Right. All right, so a good drive here. Mead Cooper lofts it into the back, looking for Cabrera. No, broken up. He had it and then knocked out of his hands. Good job by the DB from Erie. Number one, Brendan King. He had it, but he bobbled it. Right here, this is a nice ball. It was close. Right there, did he get, he didn't get both hand, feet down and no, possession. He bobbled it. Still, great throw. Second goal from the 10. And you pointed out, JP, the worst field position, they're, they're moving right down the they're field. Right they down start the field. on their own 18. Under a minute to go, first quarter. Can throw it over. Oh, oh, incomplete. That was, had touchdown written all over it. It was there. Fauci goes through his hands, stops the clock. So well, you can't come out of this without points. you got to get points no matter what. Fourth and third and ten, third and ten. Third and goal from the ten-yard line. Two incomplete passes. See if the Cats bring some pressure. They show it in a little bit too much. So if they don't get the touchdown here, which they won't, they'll get third and, and we got some goal from the five. I guess nobody saw that. So that'll make it third and goal from the five. Which is a big penalty. That, that yes, it is. Third and... Third and goal from the 10 and the five is huge. So this is where they miss ships. Big body tight end. And Lobenstein, I mean, he, he's a guy, who, he's got those great legs. The compliment is really good passing on. There's no whistle being thrown here. Young and the B are pushing each other. How's that not a flag? Somebody not Somebody off sides here? Something what here. What do you got, like a half an inch difference? There you go. Yeah, There's we a get delay a game or, yeah, it's going to be delay on Sussex. Uh, that's a mistake. The DB reached across the line of scrimmage and hit Young. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, so back to third and goal from the 10. Perry reached across. And put his hands on him. And the line coach is, I mean, the, the line judge is right, right there. Right there. All right, third and goal off the play action. Wide open, touchdown, Young. And that might be a flag there. That should be. That's the same guy that didn't call the flag before. So, <laughs> so a touchdown for the Skylanders. Young from 10 yards out on third and 10. Nice throw, nice catch. Yep. See that corner, what happened to him? So Mead Cooper. So Young, good to have him back. He's a big play guy for Sussex. 10 yard touchdown. Savio will line up for the extra point with 40 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Snap, hold, kick, good. Plenty of leg there. And Sussex will finally draw first blood as they go, 82 yards. Came, overcame some penalties, but went right down the field. 
And Jaden Mead Cooper found Aaron Young for the 10 yard touchdown and the Skylanders have the seven nothing lead over Erie. But they didn't get that big holding call or that big penalty that kills the drives, killed the first three. Young was out. Good to have him back. They have a great receiving core. We talk about Lobstein being a terrific quarterback, but he's got to get it to people. And the guys in this receiver's room, Aaron Young, Jaleel Cabrera, Juan Fushi, Jameer Brown, Derek Ramos. These guys, all terrific receivers. And then you got Caleb Ripley, too, out of Jefferson. Right. And, and Donovan Smith. So they got some guys that could catch. So seven nothing our score. Thanks for joining us here on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dan Cleary along with JP Beebe. And we want to thank everyone at Sussex for getting these games on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Dr. John Connolly, Todd Bolsworth, at the AD, Corey Homer. Everyone involved. We appreciate it. Savio will kick off. Back deep, Liam Lindo. And Lindo will field it at his six. Trying to switch fields and good coverage. And we're gonna have a flag. And here's gonna be another one. A little pushing and shoving. And another flag, and another flag. And after all these flags, it's wind up, probably gonna wind up being all offsetting. Probably. So we'll see what happens here. The referees will talk about this. They have a lot to talk about. Yeah, they do. One of them probably be on the sideline for all jumping in. You're gonna have the illegal hit to toss onto the track. Mm -hmm. I think the first flag, I think the first flag's gonna be on Erie. And then you're gonna have two unsportsmanlike on Sussex. Referees will talk it over. Next week, this is the final regular season game for Erie. So this is their season ender. And Sussex next week will go on the road to Nassau, head out to Long Island. And then they'll have their final regular season game here on November the 18th, 1 o'clock at Lenape Valley High School here down Smolin Field. And a win in any of these last few games should give them uh, an extra game. A bowl game somewhere. Six games should make them eligible. Should be. And that's that's a huge deal for this program. Absolutely. All right. Referees talked about. We're going to get the explanation. First penalty is a hold that you call that, JP. Erie. After the play on Sportsmanlike on Sussex, you call that as well. So they're going to walk off the hold and then walk off both, and it'll be 55 yards. It'll be, plus, it'll be plus five for Erie, right? Right. That's if my math is right, which is never right. Ten on the holding, 15 on Right, the so it'll be a line. net five for Erie. Either way, they have it first and ten. Everything squared away. So it will be first and 10, Erie, with 33 seconds to go here in the first quarter. And they'll have it at the 35, just outside the 35. And we have a new quarterback in there. And is that? I can't see his number. 26? No. 26, the, the running back. That's number Brian seven. Jackson, and that's Eric Wilson. So Eric Wilson back on the field. So that's a big boost for them because we, we gave you his numbers on the season. Wilson 134 for 282 for 1,647 yards, nine touchdowns. He can throw the ball. He can run with the ball, yes, too. Yes, he can. He's a good player. So Wilson in there after Trotter got the start. So we'll see if this changes things up for this offense. Got some issues with the chains over there. And go to sussex.edu for all the information you need. You want to have some registration for the spring. We have some winter classes. A lot of good things going on. And uh, one of the big things, JP, which they've had 
They have the CTE programming. So you can go to Sussex and learn a trade. You can go for the culinary. They got the restaurant that's going to be opening soon in the middle of Newton. Uh, they got all the trade stuff. You can become a welder. You can become a lineman for an electrical company. Um, or if you just want to go and get your associate's degree and go on to a four-year school, it's really one stop for all your educational needs is Sussex. And definitely check it out because after two years, you won't have a mortgage payment like most of these kids do after a four-year school. I told you, Dan, you have to convince me. My two daughters, <laughs> well, I have one daughter still in there and one daughter who went there last year, and she's in the police academy now. I mean, I love Sussex County Community College. It's a fabulous school. It's a great opportunity for uh, – Everybody in Sussex County and around. And you're right. Absolutely. I know. And with the housing situation they have with Centenary, that's where they're able to get a lot of these kids to come play sports. And they can live in Centenary. We have the shuttle bus. It's just a perfect opportunity to continue your academic and athletic career. And, and like you said, it's a huge deal to, to, to come out of college with, with, with your degree and not be saddled with, with such a huge debt. I mean – can't buy a house. You can't do anything right now until you pay off that college debt. Right. My daughters don't have that. So they're gonna, and that just gives you a head start. So they have an issue with the chains, and we I think they might have it fixed. You know what? We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. We're here for you. For roofing, siding, windows, and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Son. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics, where brilliance meets compassion in crafting your perfect smile. With a board-certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or aligners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey. All right, we're back. They got the chains all straightened out. So first and 10 for the Cats with 33 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Sussex with the 7-0 lead. Wilson at QB, and he's going to hand it off. Nowhere to go. And Amar Dry on the tackle, 55. Let me see if that's our final play of the quarter. He'll pick up no be. gain. Second 10 from the 35. They don't have to snap it, and I don't think they will. So. Just change a quarterback. I expect this to open up right now. I would imagine his numbers say he can throw the ball. And there's the horn. So one quarter in the books here at Don Smolin Field on the campus of Lenby Valley Regional High School in Stanhope, New Jersey, here in Sussex County. Our score is Sussex 7, Erie 0. We'll be back with second quarter action here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network for a robust college experience, but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. Business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCM is in the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit ccm.edu and aspire to be you. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Right, we're so back hot. here live at Don Smolin Field here in Stanover, New Jersey. So we second and 10 for the Erie Cats on the 36. Dan Clear along with J.P. Beebe. J.P., your thoughts on the first quarter? Well, you know, the Skylanders came out. I, th I thought 
you know, we were talking about them getting in sync, and they were they had three good drives going that were short circuited by holding penalties, and they finally, with their worst field possession, drove the length of the field. Wilson looking to throw and almost picked. Almost picked off. And that's those great segments. Let's talk about this secondary. Jacques Alford, three. Daryl Fritch, at 13. Brian Vargas, 10. And Darry Felix, six. They've been amazing every game we've seen. They have been. They're fast. They're smart. They know the scheme. They, they, they do a very good job. We just throw it right there. That was almost, that could have easily been a pick six if he got his hands on it. But yeah, offensively for, for the Skylanders, I think they're, they're now in, in a rhythm. Now we want to see now if, if Erie could do this with, with uh, a change of quarterback. Trips in the near sideline. And the girl Wilson will look that way. Looking for a receiver, and that'd be incomplete. And I'll bring up fourth down and 10 in a punting situation for the Cats. You don't want to throw too much to Mr. Fletcher, number 13. We saw what he did a couple games ago. Right. Vargas will be back to receive. So it will be Vargas back. Perry in the punt. And this is going to be an interesting drive here. If Perry will feel the, sh the low the snap, short, short punt. punt, can Sussex put back-to-back -to -back drives together? Well, they're starting off with good field position again. They're going to start off around the 43. It seems like they're, they're getting their confidence back, which is important coming off a, a loss that they just experienced. You know, you're going to have a lot of doubts after a game like that, but they came right back here and... I like this no huddle offense. It doesn't give you enough time to think. You know, you just execute. Let's go. So be first. They have been moving the ball. You know. Yeah. They just it's, it's the penalties, the dumb penalties that, that that kill their drives. First and ten from the forty-eight. But this is an important drive. Reed Cooper first down swings it out. Cabrera did he make the catch? It looks like he did. He did. And he did. It's a nice job. I, it goes back to we talked about this receivers room. Terrific. Pick up about six ball on the. And like you said, they have seven. so many different weapons here. It's it's hard to defend against all of them. Look at the throw again. One on one coverage. And it's caught. caught. And a flag. And who? <laughs> just like the last one. Jameer Brown, great catch. Who do you guys throw the flag on? They're both they're both grabbing and pushing. Well, let's see. Let's see what the call is. Brown with a great catch. It will be on Erie, they'll decline. They'll take the result of the play. Here it is, JP, what do you think? He just had better position on him. Yep, so it'll be a ball, it'll be spotted at the 25. Pick up of 22. First and ten for the Skylanders. Reed Cooper. Sides. Didn't see a flag. And they look for Brown again. He always makes a great catch. They're well, and they're going after Perry again. Like you said, JP, they must have saw something. They think they have an advantage. They like that matchup. He's getting great position on him. It's hard to play the ball when the receivers got, got you totally blocked off. Second and ten from the 25. Watch him slant them in now. Looking to throw. One on one coverage. Looking for Cabrera. And tough ball to catch. Cabrera had to yeah, change his route. Around. Switching him around third and ten. Indeed, Cooper getting the start today. If you just join us, James Lobstein. Out with an injury, Craig Ships out with an injury. Mason Consenzo is out, starting guard. And on third and 10, it's Murphy. And he's gonna get inside the 20. And it'll be fourth down. And five. And Sabio, Sabio's got a pretty good leg, but I think he might go for it here. We'll see if he sends him out, number 33. 
And here he comes. And here he comes. I think that's a smart move. You want to get some points here. And the kid's ca definitely capable of hitting yeah, it from here. Yeah, he's a good kicker. We're going to be kicking from the hash, and left hash. 37-yard field goal attempt. Sabio. Might be a long count here to see if the catch jump. High snap, gets it down, kick is up, and good. gets in. Good job by Sabio. He bangs it home from 37 yards out, and Sussex will go up 10-0. Took a while to get there as we take a look at the replay. Good job by the holder, high snap. Gets it, puts it down. And just gets over. Such a weapon to have. That Declan Minogue, the kid from Butler the first couple of years, was a terrific kicker. Mm -hmm. And Sabio has stepped in and done a great job here. That was a great kicker. So a 37 yard field goal. So we'll see how Erie responds with 12.57 to go. Here in the first half. Well, where Sussex Tech really needed to get in the rhythm, put some points on the board, he was in that same boat right now. It's 10 nothing. We still have, well, we got 12, 12.57 left in the, in the second quarter. You gotta get something on the board here. And we'll see with Wilson at quarterback as that changes things up. Now, I don't know if he was injured, but it, those couple of throws, it look, he looked like he was a little rusty. Yes, he did. He didn't play last week according to the box score. Trotta got the start, played the whole game. Time is definitely off. And if there's any position in football, it's all about timing. It's quarterback. Especially if you want to throw the ball a lot. Okay, Savio will kick off. Lindo back deep along with Trent Johnson for the Cats. Lindo will field it at the four. And great coverage. Great coverage. Flying down there and making that tackle is Prince Breeden, number one. That was all of them. Terrific. They all got down there. Taylor Sibley's down there too, but Prince Breeden, first one there. So first and 10 for the Erie Cats. At the uh, 15? No, at the 20. Let's see where they're spotting this. Is probably the 15 or 16. Yeah. Just outside the 15. First and 10 for the Erie Cats. Let's see if they can get some offense together here. That's what you want to do on special teams when you're kicking off. You always, if you, you always want to keep behind the 20. Weathers has got to keep an eye on number two. Also Trent Johnson, their two leading receivers. Wilson. And on the give, nothing going there. And we have a flag. On the carry was Littleton. That's going to be a hold on Erie. We're going to push him back. We'll put a little time on the clock, 12.45. And we'll get the call from the, the official. And we'll walk it back. Hold. Uh, push it back to the eight yard line. So about first and 17. Get the tailback coming out of the end zone. They're backed up a little bit here. Wilson looking to throw. Pressure comes, no one there. Coming back to try to make a play on that was Deshaun Cox. Yeah, he is rusty, Dan. He's, he's not seeing his patterns. So, yeah, just not on the same page yet. So, incomplete. Now bring up second down. Ball on the eight. Lobstein here with his teammates. 
Ships is here as well, both on the sidelines. First time Ships has not been in a sling, according to Coach Robertson, which is good to see. So trips to the near sideline to see if he rolls that way. And we're going to have a delay. 40 second play clock expired. These penalties are so tough to take when you're backed up like this. Yeah. You're really digging yourself a deeper hole. The ball going to go beyond the four. That means your backfield's coming out of the end zone. So second and 22 from the four. They need to get to the 26 for a first down. Now after the Skylanders, you could sit back there. This is a really good secondary we talked about. See, they come after him with some pressure. We're going to hand it off. I'll nope, try to get some and room. First one there was Benji Guar, as we talked about. Benji getting an offer from Moorhead State. Congratulations to Benji. That's awesome. I know Georgetown also looking at him. Ball will be at the six. Pick up two. It's a tough spot for Erie to throw the ball in. Like, you know, like you said, the, the secondary the Skylanders is just, it's, it's so impressive this year. And they don't they're want just, to They're just going to sit back and wait on it. I think you, you uh, throw a short pass, but then it's always dangerous when you throw out into the flat, especially with these guys from Sussex. Or even a screen or something mm -hmm. down here might work. I would make it a middle screen. Right. Yeah, you don't want to throw across the field. And Wilson under pressure. Gets rid of it and almost Ooh, picked. Almost picked. And it was there. going right to Fletcher, but Vargas played the ball. Oh, Fletcher's bending over. He thought he had six. Oh, wow. He was thinking about his celebration. We're either getting a two or we're getting a six. There we go. Oh, broken up by Vargas, but uh. Fletcher was waiting for it. Fourth and 20 from the six. Good job by Wilson not <coughs> to take the safety. Uh, he felt the pressure. Oh, they were on him. And they're going to come after him here. That would be my guess. What do you think? Fargus back backed deep. up to the back line in the end zone. Got to get a good snap here. I mean, you got Fargus is going to feel this punt no matter what. High snap. Perry gets to it, gets rid of it. Short punt. And another short punt. So Sussex will be set up. Probably about the 33, 34 yard line. So first and 10 for the Skylanders with 11.32 to go here in the first half. They have a 10 nothing lead, looking to add to it. Again, playing this game with a lot of key guys out with injuries against a solid Erie Community College team. We talked about them, two tough losses to Hudson Valley, their arch rival, they lost 14-12 and then in the Region 3 Championship game, they lost 7-6, that's a heartbreaker. All right, first and 10 from the Erie 33. Me Cooper still in there, Murphy at running back. Best field position of the day to start. Off the play action, they're gonna dump it off to Murphy and a great tackle, flying up there. That is a great tackle. You read that right away, Jobeth Magda. Take a watch, look at this coach. He saw this coming. Like a heat-seeking missile. That's Boom. a great tackle. All right. No getting out of that. Nope. Second and 10 from the 33. And they're going to swing it over. This could be a pass, but no. Great job by Erie reading that. Not fooled one bit. We're going in the wrong direction I think here. Ramos was going to throw that. Lafina's maze stops at number 42. I imagine he was looking to throw there. And that was a lateral. Yeah. If Let's take a look at this, if coach. Had, if he had dropped that. That's a dangerous throw. I think he was looking to throw. That was going to be a double pass or an option pass. So the ball went up to the 46, lost the 13. Now we're going to go vertical here. And they're going to throw it up, going against Perry, and caught, caught it. it. What a catch by Young. <laughs> wow. Aaron Young with a great catch. Let's take a look at that one. The official like he had to think about it for a second. Or he was just so impressed by it. I don't Man know. coverage against Perry. And Mead Cooper was immediately going to his big play man, Mr. Young. And look at that. That's a great throw and a great catch. Absolutely. Oh, wow. First and 10 from the 15. Handoff to Murphy. He's going to get wrestled down. 
oh, that's going to be so disheartening for the Serie D fans. They had two really big plays in a row. Right. Pushed them back 10, 15 yards, and boom. Up top they go. Washington, they burn them. Washington with the tackle for Erie. Second and nine from the 15. Big play on third down. E. Cooper gives it to Taylor Sibley's. Taylor Sibley's churning his legs, still moving forward. Taylor Sibley's for Sussex County fans know him and that family name from Newton High School. Had 1,000 yards last year along with Braden Nolan. Great Matt player. Barzaro, great linebacker too. Had a great high school career. I'm so glad to see him out here playing. Absolutely. I, don't, I got to check see if he's wrestling too because he was a terrific wrestler. I was just so crazy about staying on the sideline watching him play last year, but like yeah. watching him play now. So third down from the nine. E. Cooper swings it over. We got there a flag. It's a touchdown. It's going to come back. They're going to call a pick. I think 81 was blocking before the ball was released. That'd He's be, clapping. No, no. Something's going They're on. They're going to say offside, so that'll be a touchdown then. They're young. It is. Wow. Decline touchdown, Sussex. Wow. <laughs> Great play. Mead Cooper, nine-yard pass to Aaron Young. Let's take a look at that. He tried this once before on the other side of the field. I thought they, they dropped it. I thought 81 started the block a little too early. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So nine-yard touchdown. Their Mead Cooper to Young. Sussex looking to make it 17-0. High snap, plenty good, and 17 nothing our score. So Skyler's getting into that groove we were talking about. Go 33 yards after the short punt, after the Cats were trapped deep in their own territory. Well, what's, what's impressive about it is they had those two bad plays. Here he jumped on them on, on, those, on those, two, uh, those two screen plays that didn't work. They lost about 10, 10 12 yards on it. But they kept their composure. They're, they're third and long, and they hit that huge play down the sideline there. And that was all young. It was good that he got the touchdown catch because he did all the dirty work. He did all the dirty catch. work. So he's got two t uh, two touchdown grabs this in his first game back after being injured, making his presence known. So 17 nothing lead. Young, a terrific athlete. So Sussex will kick off. Back deep, Jalen Weathers, number two, and Trent Johnson, number four, for the Cats. Well, this is the most important drive of the day for Erie. They don't want to go into the, the to halftime down 17 nothing. They got to put something on the board. They talk about them getting into a, a rhythm they haven't yet offensively the two gunners here taylor sibley's and prince breeden for sussex we'll see if they get down there fielded by weathers reverse and then they fake the reverse and a great tackle that's a great tackle gary felix what a great tackle let's good take a job. look at that it's good fake on the reverse gary felix having none of it though as the sun comes out here in Stanhope, New Jersey. And that's you, you teach your kids. You do special teams at Sussex Tech. You teach the kids to stay in your lanes. Run your lanes. Run your lanes. Don't pinch in. Came right to them. Because if they do pinch in, that reverse works like a charm. Yes, indeed. That's discipline. Good job by Darry Felix. First and 10 from the 11. Wilson at quarterback. Exactly nine to go. Looking to throw, and it's going to be complete. Fletcher's there, and then finishing him off is Vargas. Fletcher was trying to strip the ball. On the catch, number 28, Isaiah, is, is, excuse me, Isaiah Kelly, but short gain. Uh, picked up about six. Ball will be spotted at the 17. But this Skyliner team, what I've seen them this year, they, they've had outstanding special teams. Yes, they have. And that's been a hallmark of this team. Defense and special teams in its young stages. You know, you know offense, I don't care what offense you're running. Everything starts with your quarterback. 
And they finally got a really good one this year. And he's standing on the sidelines. And handoff inside, we have a flag and a ball pops out. Sussex looks like they have it. Fumble and coming out for it, Tyshawn Jack. But will it count? They might say it was offsides on the Skylanders. They're not making any indication about possession yet. Well, Jack came out of the, uh, the pile with the ball, but that doesn't mean anything. No. So if it's offsides. Offsides. Not only does the yeah. fumble is negated, it should be a first, second down. Second down. It should be a first down because it was second and four. Yep, they're walking. Yeah, okay, there's first down because it was second and four. So it'll be a first and 10 for the Cats at the 21. With 8.06 to go here at Don Smolin Field, Campus Lenby Valley Regional High School. Johnson. Weathers and Kelly to the near sideline. Wilson off the play action over the middle. Has a receiver and it's caught. And that's going to be a first down. Nice job there by Trent Johnson on the little slant. Well, his timing was on on that throw. That, 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 that was a good play. To pick up the first down. What you don't want to do here is you got to get something here because you don't want to turn the ball back over to, to, to Sussex with time on the clock. Let them put another score up there. Then and it's going to be insurmountable coming out in the third quarter. So a nice play there by the Cats. First and 10 from the 36. And look at the throw. And incomplete. No flags. No flag. I thought there was going to be one. A little grabbing out there on the shirt. Well, unfortunately, saying there's a flag, we're not going to be wrong too often. <laughs> <laughs> no. So it would be a good bet. Second and 10 from the 36. Same formation, same trips to the sideline, to the near sideline, excuse me. Wilson with Littleton in the backfield. Pressure comes, looking to throw. Steps Wilson up. gets rid of it, incomplete, Ooh. looking for Johnson. So third and 10 from the 36. Sussex almost had that pick when Vargas dove in, and that's just muscle memory. You teach the guy to knock the ball down if it's in your area. Right. But it went right into the bread basket, Daryl Fletcher. Ooh. The secondary is good. They're, they're ball hawks. You've got to be really careful where you're throwing that thing around. Especially with number 13. Daryl Fletcher, one of the best. And he's going to roll that way. Wilson has time. Thinks about running. And then coming up is Prince Breeden, but he gets rid of it and is caught. Great job by Jalen Weathers and even a better job by Wilson as he took a shot. Did he step out of bounds there? We got a flag. We'll see what this is. Was that going to his head? He got a call? flag and he got a hat. He threw his hat too. Did he step out? That's a question. Good, good question there, JP. Let's see. I thought he stepped out here. If he stepped out of bounds, he's ineligible. But did it? Prince Breeden goes a little too high to the head on Wilson. Just give me my hat back. <laughs> <laughs> That's who's going to step on it, the way he was looking at him. All right, what is it? Let's see what we got here. They're spotting at the 46, which would be a first down. Holding. Holding. Erie. And they'll march that back. So blocking the back, it looks like. Not okay, holding. yep, blocking the back. And that was downfield, so it'll be at the spot. That's after the catch. So it'll be third and ten again, it looks like. All right, so, so, all right, so, so we got the foul right where he caught the ball. Mm -hmm. And okay, no, it was in downfield. Now they're moving the six. And the ball will be placed at the 26. 
So it will be third and 20. Big penalty there against Huge Cats. Huge penalty. After that nice catch and a nice job by Wilson evading the sack. Both offenses shoot, shoot themselves in the foot with, with costly penalties that just wreck your drives. Pressure comes. And they came Wilson after him. Gets rid of it, and did he catch that? I it is a catch. I thought it bounced. Great catch by Trent Johnson. Is he going to be overruled? They're talking. Rolls out to the 40, would make it still fourth down. Yeah. Let's see what the officials say. The one official thought that the field had a better angle. And that's who's talking. Well, if they count it, it's going to be fourth and six. If not, obviously fourth and 20 again. It is a catch. Fourth okay. down. All right. But a manageable fourth down. Let's see if they go for it here. Trailing by 17. I don't see Perry coming out to punt, so. I don't know. I think I would punt it here. I Ball at the 41. They need to get to the 46. If you don't get it, you put these Skylanders in really good field position. Just taking a shot here, Coach Kemp. Maybe the long count, because Sussex has been known to jump. Sussex has to be disciplined. Low snap. Wilson looking to throw over the middle. It's caught by Johnson. First down for the Cats. Well, that's why he's down there coaching. And I'm up here talking. <laughs> <laughs> nice job by Johnson with the grab. Good throw by Wilson. Good play. And be first and 10 from the Skylanders, 47 yard line. So, offense moving a little bit better with Wilson at quarterback. Yes, it is. It'd be working a lot better if they didn't have some of these costly penalties. Though. And handoff, nice gain on first down by Littleton. The freshman out of Buffalo. So that rhythm that we keep talking about is starting to head to the Erie Cats sideline down at the and 41. They need it. And it this, this is a big drive for them. Give them something to build on at halftime. Good job by that offensive line. Big Rashid McLean, number 77, at guard. Second and four. And a give this to Littleton, and he's going to get the first down right at the marker. He's going to get dragged down. Good tackle by Breon Askins. But that should be a first down. And that is. Well, they keep moving the ball down. Nicely done by the Cats, their best drive of the game. First and 10 from the 36. Johnson has that slot with Weathers. Weathers has been getting a lot of attention, but Johnson's been open. And they look for Weathers there. Makes a nice little move inside, but then the cavalry comes and he'll get knocked down. It'll pick up six. Second and four from the 30. They're moving now. And the Skylander's got a bear down. The rust is slowly coming off Mr. Wilson. Getting that timing down. The only thing that does it is reps. That's the only thing that works. As we talked about th those two receivers. You do all kinds of walkthroughs, but you got actually you actually got to throw the ball and run the offense. Johnson and Weathers combined for 88 catches this year. Hand off to Littleton. That's a big hole for him. And then he's going to get dragged down. McKinley Bacon grabs some of the jersey, but not before he gets another first down for the Cats. And they're threatening now. Well, when you have the threat of the pass, it obviously opens up the run. That's football one-on-one. Right. And that's what the Cats are doing now. Good mix. Mike Kemp, the head coach, is also the OC. 335 and running here in the first half. You're looking to get on the scoreboard, trailing 17-0. Their final game of the season. Off the play action, they swing it out to Weathers. And Tyshawn Jack is there. We're going to have a flag. Did he get his face mask? Yeah, we got a face mask. Weathers, up by Tyshawn 
Now the question is, is it a five yarder or a 15 yarder? That's the question, we'll discuss it. That's the one thing, the pattern with Sussex games this year, a lot of penalties. And we talk about it all the time, those are the things you can fix. If they're right. getting blown off the ball and stuff like that, then they, you worry about those are right. things that are tough to fix. You're talking about personnel. You're talking about mm -hmm. talent level. Right. The talent level is as good as anyone except for Lackawanna and Georgia. And it will be the personal foul kind. They get 15 yards. Yes, they are. And a first down. So looking to punch one in here with just over three minutes to go. That would be a big difference maker. That's a big penalty. Well, here he's now on the receiving end of a big penalty. It's going to help their drive out. We'll be at the 12. So they can still get a first down. First and 10 from the 12. Littleton's done a nice job running off tackle. We'll see if they go to him again. And they will. And following his blockers in, he gets up to end. A good job there good job. shooting in and make the tackle. Number seven. two? Seven, seven, I believe. Seven? That was two. With two. Lamar Brown, defensive end, will give him the credit. Good job. Pick up of one, second and nine from the 11. And to your point, JP, I mean, obviously they want to score, but they don't want to give any time left to this Sussex no. offense. So I think they'll take their time on second and nine from the 11, unless something's wide open. And he's going to look to throw, and it's intercepted. And he's going to go. He's got one guy to beat. Gets that block, he cuts it into the middle. Great interception by Ahmad Peoples. That is a backbreaker. Oh my goodness, Peoples was sitting there in the zone, picks it off and he takes off. Let's take a look at this. Peoples read that perfectly, he picked it off there at the goes. six yard line. What'd you cut inside for? You had it to the outside. <laughs> From the six, he brings it out to the 45. Yeah, a lot of blockers, and this is a nightmare for Erie now because you got 218 left, and they're going to try and score here. Let's see if they do the, the sudden change, take a big shot. I think they're going to. Is Young out there? No, he's not out there, but they got other guys that can make the big play too. So Ahmad Peoples with a big pick. He didn't see him sitting there in the zone. Oh, apparently not. <laughs> yes, as, as, I state, as I state the obvious. Oh, oh well, well, it was the, other, the way. other way. Oh, my goodness. Anthony Wright was right there. I didn't want to go vertical here. They've been having really good success with it. Yes. A lot of man defense by Erie. Not so much help with the safeties. Perry playing, and Lindo playing press coverage. And this is Taylor Sibley's on the run. Sibley's still going, and he's inside the 30. Taylor Sibley. That's a great run for our local guy. Yeah, absolutely, and one of the favorites of all his teammates. How can you not be, how can you not love Taylor Sibley's? Nah, he's a, he, he's a great young man. Great player, but he's a great young man, too. First and 10 from the 29. He used to sing the national anthem before the Newton games and then go out and get 200 yards and 10 tackles yeah, on defense. Yeah, I know about those 200 yards, Dan. <laughs> I've seen that stuff. Me Cooper looking to throw. He's going to tuck it and there still on his feet and gets good yardage on first down. They are in field goal range now. Absolutely. I think they want six here. Jerry on Ingram with the tackle. Oh, boy, what a turn of events for Erie. That, this is like the worst case scenario that could happen to him on that drive. This is They didn't want Sussex back on the board, and they had to get in the end zone. And then the two worst things are happening here to him. Going to fix the clock again. It looks like 135 showing. They're changing the play clock to 25. Let's see what we new number we come up. Like watching a slot machine here. The number's changing. <laughs> <laughs> 126. So second and short from the 22. 
Need to get to the 19. Trying to get them to jump. Perry comes back up, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the far sideline. Got Cabrera, Ramos, and Fushi. They're gonna look for Brown, one-on-one. -on -one. He's got there! Him. Touchdown, Sussex! What a great throw, but we got a flag. Beat double coverage, he threw that ball perfectly, dropped it right in the bucket, and what? Coming back, holding on, on Sussex. Ah, tough break there for Sussex. Big break for Erie. Yes, indeed. So that negate the 22-yard touchdown. That'll push it back. Second down. Watch him go right back to it. If it's the same coverage, yeah. Why not? They're having a lot of success with these, you know, Sussex versus their corners. Second and 13 from the 33. Man-on-man -man coverage is not working for Erie today. And the line has done a nice job picking up any pressure that comes. Off the play action, Mead Cooper has a receiver and almost Ooh, picked. And we got another flag. And the lead hit, roughing the passer possibly. Yeah, no, I think that's more in the in the holding the, the area. holding area. Me Cooper got up slow. Illegal man downfield. So do you want third and thirteen, coach, or second and eighteen? I'd push him back. This this is uh. Out of the way out of field goal range. And with 54 seconds to go. Aaron Young will come out there. So we'll look for him. He's on the far sideline. Perry on him. It's a matchup they've gone to a lot. Second and 18. If he can get out his half and add any more points scored, that could be some type of a moral victory. But, oh. Ball on the 38. Hand off inside. Sibley's nothing doing. Good job making that stop. Coming up there, Dion Cahey. Hilti in there as well. So third and long. Yes, indeed. Ball up to 36. Pick up Time two. Out. Timeout, Sussex. Sussex will call a timeout. We'll take a quick timeout as well. We'll be right back. college experience but not the huge debt then stop by sussex county community college to learn about all we have to offer from an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life sussex is the place to start visit sussex.edu apply to learn more temperatures that means your hvac system is outdated and wasting energy at ics we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ics for hvac i see why Back and touchdown Sussex. Mead Cooper. They go back to the same play and Cooper finds Brown. 36 yards out. No flags. That's surprising. <laughs> They've been having real real success against their, their, their corners all day. You're probably gonna see a lot more of that in the second half. Oh that that's a that's a tough one for Erie to take here. Yeah, it is with 31 ticks to go. They're in the red zone, ready to go. Sussex picks it off. He turns at 30 yards, and here we are, boom. Sussex will call a timeout on the extra point. They didn't have their proper personnel out there. 
Mead Cooper with three touchdown passes here in the first half, doing a great job running this offense. Again, great receivers. Every one of them is a big play guy. They are. But you know what? I, I, the, the throws are awesome. He's, he's having a really good day. Yes, he is. He's using all his receivers. He's spreading it around. Mead Cooper with three touchdown passes here in the first half. Two to Young and then one right there to Brown. 36 yards. Savio for the extra point. Kick is up. And it is good. So Sussex will push his lead to 24-0 just before the half. Okay, I want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring these games on the Moore Sussex Sports Network. Go to sussex.edu for all information for upcoming open houses. We'll have spring registration will be here before you know it, folks. We also have winter classes. Whatever you need educationally, it's at Sussex. You want to continue your athletic and academic career? There's no better place. Sussex offers more sports than any other team in Region 19. With the addition of volleyball, wrestling is going to be fun to watch, JP. They got a full lineup, my understanding. Coach Barzano does a great job with assistant Pat Thompson. They can fill out a lineup. Actually, they're going to have their first home meet match on December 1st against East Strasburg. That is that is fantastic. I mean, the athletic programs that have come into the county, and you know, this, this Sussex County's got so many different athletic programs on all different levels, and it's and it's hard when your high school career's over. You, you still got that fire. You still want to play. You still want to compete. And now you just go up the street and keep and keep competing: wrestling, basketball, at football. At a high level. At a high level. And we say it all the time, Sussex, yeah, they lost the Georgia military in Lackawanna, but there's big-time scouts at those games from big-time schools. That's right. And they might catch your eye. I, I, you know, Dan, you know, if you've been around this game long enough as a, you know, a player or a coach, you're going to be on the receiving end of some more than a few lopsided scores. I mean, it happens. It's What you're seeing here right now is what's most important is how Sussex is reacting on their next game coming off a, you know, a tough loss like that. And, and they're hitting on all cylinders today. They're, they're, they're looking pretty good. Johnson calls the fair catch, so it will be first and 10 from the 25. And that's the right move because you don't take any time off the clock. It's not like he doesn't want to return. He was told, fair catch it, you get the ball first and 10 and no time comes off the clock. 31 seconds left. Oh, I don't know. I probably just want to get out of get out of that, get into the ha uh, halftime. Wilson's going to look to throw over the middle, and he's going to be picked off. That's a big mistake. Right there, Jacques Alfred, another pick for the Skylanders, and they have now a chance. They have all three of their timeouts in 25 seconds. 25 seconds. And we see what they've been doing with their with their vertical passing game. This is a Nope. Bad spot they just put themselves in. I, I would have taken a knee and just gotten to halftime. You can tell any one of those receivers, Brown, Fushi, Young, Ramos, go get it. <laughs> They're so athletic. Yeah. And they've been doing that. So 47 of Erie. And you have a kicker on your sideline. Yes, indeed. And three timeouts, so they don't have to throw it to the sideline. That can hit from like 40 and in. They could even run a delay here with uh, Sibley's. Off we'll the play action. And Mead Cooper will get rid of it and caught. First down. That's Fushi. Clock stops. They are They're gonna use one of their timeouts. They're like ten yards away from a legitimate field goal attempt. So the timeout to the thirty four. He just gave himself up, and that's what you can do on, on the college level and the in the uh, professional level. Took his, kind of went down on the knee, just said, dip, there we go. Just wanted to make sure he had the catch, so the ball will be at the 34, first and 10. Pick up of 13. And as you mentioned, they do have a guy that can kick, and Savio, he has a 37-yard field goal to his credit. But I think Coach Jim Robertson's thinking, if we can get six, this is definitely over. 
Yeah, I, I realistically, if they could pick up another 10 yards, they're, they're in field goal range, so maybe they do that on a quick out and then take two shots at the end zone before they bring their kicker in. Something like that. We'll see how Coach Robertson and Coach Sally, the offensive coordinator, approach this. Again, off play action. Now he's in trouble, and he's going to get sacked. And that's a big sack. Yeah, it does. They're going to have to use another yeah. timeout. And that Jason Guam guy we talked about at the beginning of the game, and keep an eye on. It's going to run out on him. And they are out of time, so they don't use the timeout. They take the sack. And one half in the books here at Don Smolin Field here at Lenape Valley Regional High School in Stanhope, New Jersey. Our score, Sussex County Community College 24, Erie 0. We'll take a break, and after halftime, we'll be back with third quarter action here live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. Looking for a robust college experience, but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. homeowners. Get ready to meet Brandy Brosian of Compass Real Estate. Brandy wants to sell your home with ease and maximize your return on investment, providing a personalized approach that includes deep cleaning to staging to professional digital exposure. Brandy's innovative approach provides so much added value that you and your home will feel the VIP difference. Don't wait another day. Reach out to Brandy Brosian today. school athlete feel far behind you our memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it but then reality sets in and your stiff back achy knees and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way don't worry the team at better with physical therapies one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you you can get better with better with physical therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. Colder temperatures are right around the corner, and Plato's Closet in Ledgewood is stocking up on gently used name brand styles for the winter. Get paid cash for your fuzzy sweaters, warm boots, cute scarves, and all of those cozy staples and statement pieces sitting in your closet. Plato's Closet is the go-to, affordable, sustainable shopping spot for teens and young adults. Stop by Plato's Closet in Ledgewood today. Blue Nail was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. Are you tired of being told your only options for relief are pills, shots, or risky surgeries? At Restoration Health Acupuncture and Nutrition, we are giving people back their lives. We're improving fertility, reversing the effects of neuropathy, and providing much needed relief from anxiety, chronic pain, autoimmune conditions, long COVID, and much more. Call Restoration Health Acupuncture and get back to living your best life. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. At Planet Networks. 
Our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Hey parents, did you know that young athletes are at a higher risk for opioid misuse and addiction due to prescription pain relievers after having injuries and surgeries? Don't let injuries lead to addiction. Help your athlete train and play smart. Ask your doctor about non-opioid pain management alternatives to keep your athlete in the game. Visit centerforprevention.org to learn more. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. At Paint Puri, we don't just sell paint and paint accessories. We eat, sleep, and breathe it. Not actually, though. That would be weird. With our huge selection of incredible Benjamin Moore paints, choosing the right color and finish can be a big decision. Luckily, with over 40 years of experience, we can answer any question you have. Whether you're a seasoned contractor or a DIYer, we have all the tools you need to get the job done right the first time. Ready for your next project? Visit us at Paint Puri or shop online at paintpuri.com. Cortez Disposal is a leader in the solid waste industry. We offer dumpster roll-off containers for residential, commercial, and industrial needs all over New Jersey. We are women-owned and family-operated. Cortez Disposal, where where your your garbage garbage is is our life. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. The groups that brought down the house, the legends who changed the world of music, iconic moments of our lives captured for eternity by the great photographers of our time, all on display and for sale at Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Own the moments and keep alive your most treasured memories. And don't miss our huge gallery of sports art and memorabilia or our expert framing of your most valued memories and keepsakes. Legends Gallery at Frames on Main in Chatham. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. DNA Landscaping. We service all of your lawn care needs. We are a full-service lawn care and landscaping company providing traditional needs such as lawn maintenance, planting, trimming, mulch, tree removal, and stump grinding, as well as landscape design and snow removal. With over 10 years of experience serving Morris and Sussex counties with both residential and commercial properties, call DNA Landscaping at 973-223-5845.
Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Contact Mary Comito for an auto quote today. The green wave isn't just what we call ourselves. It represents all we are called to. Let's go! We strive for excellence in mind, body, and spirit. We put in the work in programs that test us, guide us to the colleges we pursue. We live true, putting others before ourselves, to the lifelong connections we've made. This is the spirit and strength we are called to. Roll Wave. Come visit Angelina's Trotteria, located at 184 Columbia Turnpike, Florham Park, New Jersey. We are your neighborhood BYOB. Stop in and join us for lunch or dinner. Angelina's is proud to offer visitors the following specials. Tuesdays are two for two large pizzas for only $22. On Wednesdays, kids under 10 eat free. Thursday night is pasta night. All pastas on the menu are 20% off. Family serving friends can stop into Angelina's and let our family serve yours. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. Step-by-step painting and general contracting. Your trusted partner for all your home needs. For over two decades, we've brought our clients' visions to life throughout northern New Jersey. Our team of professionals and commitment to excellence deliver outstanding results. From painting, bathroom and kitchen renovations, additions, remodeling, and custom faux work, we've got you covered. Our team tackles projects of all sizes and complexities. Step-by-step painting, building dreams, one project at a time. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Calling all parents of young athletes. Did you know that safe medication disposal not only protects your young athletes, but also the environment they play in? Be a proactive guardian. Safeguard your home by disposing of medications properly through drop-off sites in New Jersey, located at most police departments and designated pharmacies. By doing so, you help prevent pollution of our precious environment, ensuring clean waterways and healthier surroundings for your young champions. Make a positive impact on their lives and the planet. Safely dispose of unused and unwanted medications today. Meet James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm and Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, 
visit us at erinmizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. At Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. Majestic Flowers and Gifts. Your trusted family-owned and operated florist since 2006. Our loyal customers are always satisfied with our attention to detail and customer service. We serve all of Morris County and offer deliveries for any flower needs. Providing our customers with a variety of flowers from prom flowers to anniversary arrangements, wedding centerpieces, get well soon flowers, funeral flowers, and much more. Next time you're thinking of getting flowers for your loved ones and special occasions, rely on Majestic Flowers and Gifts to provide nothing but the highest quality. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. I actually used to be deathly afraid of public speaking. I intentionally became an adjunct professor teaching tax, and I also became a Zumba instructor as a way of overcoming this fear of mine. They're both forms of leading and teaching in their own right. Bottom line though, WIS supports my passions. I truly believe that WIS wants me to be the best version of myself, and it's such an amazing feeling that I truly have the freedom to do that here. The perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. 
Sport Acura of Denville, we know you have a lot of choices when it comes to buying your new Acura. So why shop with dealers that don't value your time or play games with you? Why not choose a dealership that always values their clients' time and has set a benchmark in customer service for nearly 40 years? Make it easy. Choose Autosport Acura of Denville. For sales, service, and a relationship you can rely on, make it easy and choose Autosport Acura of Denville. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Maximum Health Physical Therapy is an individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at Max. MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. Brian, we just got a text from your wife. She wants to trade in her car for something else. Chief, I'm a little busy. Uh, she wants it now. Explain to me how I'm going to do that. We got fast lane, Brian. The fast what? Fast lane. Bring her in. This is us, Paul Miller Fastlane. What else would do it? Buy a car, trade a car, finance a car, have it delivered completely online. This is so easy. She could have done it herself. She said you're the car guy, Brian. Isn't that the truth? It's the fast lane, winner. It's the only way to fly. That's fast lane. Powered by Paul Miller. That is the Paul Miller difference. Shop and service at your most trusted local Ford dealership, serving Morris, Sussex, and all of New Jersey. Come experience why so many people buy and service from us over and over again. Our sales and service department make you feel at home, and there's never any pressure. Maplecrest Ford of Mendham is here for all your vehicle needs. For sales and service, call 888-797-7003 or go to maplecrestford.com. We had a big pin against Kittatinny the night we did that match. Yeah, you did it on a single leg there. The way, the, the way that they're yeah. running, it does not look like a sprint net to me. Okay. English was left alone, swings it over, catch and shoot from the wing, and it's good. And it's crazy to see some of these big names that will be automatic wins in most regular high school meets. That Chatham you have it inside their offensive end. Take the sharp angle shot. He got it through. He gets the shot through. Chatham score and break the tie. Yes, indeed, folks, winter is coming. As more Sussex Sports gearing up for that winter season, you can see the description in the YouTube page. And you want to get your team on senior night, opening night, big rivalry game, whatever game it is, fill out that form. We'd love to come cover your game, cover your game as we, will, we do boys basketball, girls basketball, swimming, fencing, wrestling, gymnastics, you name it, we'll come and cover it. Just fill out the form on the YouTube description page. So check that out as the fall season starts to turn to winter on the high school level here in the Morris Sussex Sports area. But the weather today is still quite delightful. 54 degrees here in Stanhope, brought to you by our friends at ICS HVAC. We appreciate them. Go to ICSHVAC.com. They'll keep you warm when it's cold and they'll keep you cold when it's warm. So we want to thank them for our weather and temperature. And again, Winter season coming. Dan Cleary along with J.P. Beebe, former Pope John player coach and assistant coach at Sussex Tech. Big first half or big second quarter for Sussex. Jaden Mead Cooper getting the start for James Lobstein. 
And he's got three touchdown passes. Two passes to uh, making his comeback today. Aaron Young and a touchdown to Jameer Brown. But Sussex with two big picks. Prather and Jacques uh, Alfred with picks. But a, a solid first half considering all the injuries they had to overcome with Ships out, Lobstein out, and uh, Cazenzo out on the, on the offensive line. It's been like a business-like performance for Sussex. It was. It's, it's, it's a very impressive performance considering what they went through last week, what they're experiencing this week with, with their injuries and, and, the, and the people that they're missing. And we talked about the offense early, about getting into rhythm. Well, they did that. And, they, and they've, they've been playing well this, this whole first half, the defense, playing aggressive Sussex County Community College defense like they always have. And their special teams have been shining. So looks like an onside kick coming. No? Might be a new kicker. Number 82 coming in to kick. I wouldn't think they want to do that. You know, but yeah, but this is this is a good performance. They they, they needed this. You know, they're getting their confidence back. Let's see if they can carry through to the second half. They still have a shot here to, to get into a bowl game. So Yeah, we're just talking to the games. athletic director, Todd Poldersdorf. Right. They win today, and they beat Monroe on their final game. They'll probably get a, a bowl game. It might be against Lackawanna, but still, it's a postseason game. And it's historical. Right. A new program like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. This is Shield. He's going to kick off. They have two kickers on Erie. So I don't think we'll see anything funky here. But I could be wrong. Oh, he'll oh. boot it away. Short kick. And that'll be fielded at about the 15. And brought down. And we're going to have a flag. It's Nothing gonna, new there. It's going to be a horse collar. Right there we go. He may get a seat on the bench. Yes, indeed. So we'll sort this out. Yeah, horse collar on Erie, and you're going to have an unsportsmanlike conduct on Sussex. So we'll talk about it. Hey, we want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring all these games, all the home games here on Morris Sussex Sports. Go to sussex.edu for all information for spring registration, winter registration, and you'll can see all the great programs offered at Sussex. It's a great place to go. Start here, go anywhere, Sussex County Community College. It's turned into a beautiful fall day here in Stanhope. Absolutely gorgeous. Even though it's nice, I'm glad we're not on the roof here anymore. No. It was 80 degrees that day and was cold. But right. for the people up in Erie, this is summer weather. <laughs> they've, right. they've shoveled six feet of snow in October and early November. So we gotta buck, we got to toughen up the Bud Cup, right? That's right. That's right. They're going to march it off against Sussex. Okay. So we're going to get the explanation here from the official. They're going to walk off two penalties? Yes, indeed. So I think both were on Sussex. Wow. All the way back to the eleven. I thought the initial penalty was 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 on the tackle because it was a horse. All right here we go. Hold, Hold on, Sussex. And we have the personal foul. All right, we got first and ten, Skylanders. And then both against Sussex, both marched off. So Sussex will have a first and ten from their eleven to start this third quarter. So the initial flag wasn't a horse car. The initial no, flag it was they not. called it a hold. It was on a Sussex. hold. And I don't think there was any ejections. Lee Cooper in a quarterback, hand off to oh. Murphy and a great job cutting in and making that tackle, number 37. And a great job there by Magna. You gotta be careful when, when, when you're, you're carrying the ball and you're, you're running horizontal to the goal line and you're in the shadow of your goal line. You can't belly it back too much. He's lucky to get tackled in the end zone. They don't want to give any sort of spark to this eerie team. No. Uh, safety say, would definitely do that. They say your first drive in the third quarter is an important drive. It's as important as your first drive in the first quarter. Sets the tone for the second half. Big loss there, second and long from inside the five. And we're going to have another flag. It's going to be offsides. 
on S no, it's going to be motion on Sussex, I think. They moved. Motion. Yeah, all right. We will be against Sussex. So not a good start to this third quarter for the Skylanders. We'll see if the Erie Cats can take advantage of it. Ball on about the one-yard line now. They need to get to the 23, so second and 22. And another flag. That's going to be offsides on Erie. It's never a good thing to be running your offense out of your own goal line. No. So we get a little breathing room here. So that will push it out to the six. Two big costly penalties put him in this hole. So it will be second and 17 from the six for the Skylanders. And we're not even a minute in. We've had four penalties. Oh, my gosh. Sibley's in the backfield with Mead Cooper. Looking to throw. Feels a little pressure over the middle. Incomplete. He had Sibley's all alone out in the flat. Nobody even picked him up. They were looking for the tight end. Aubrey Green, but good coverage. Sibley's was the uh, safety valve. They should have went to him. He had a lot of, a lot of green in front of him. Good job with the pass defense. Magna. Third and long. Third and what, 15? About 17. Third and 17 from the 16. They need to get to the 23. From the six, Mead Cooper. And he's wide open. Ramos wide open. He's got the first down and more. Still on his feet. Victor Ramos and a big job and catch there. Derek Ramos, excuse me. Huge play. Big play there. He was all by his lonesome. And he threw that across the field. That, oh, Great throw by Mead Cooper. How did they miss him? He had to stand there and wait for it. And then he got the yards after the catch, first and 10 from the 40, so out of the shadows of the goalpost. Wide open again is Cabrera, big hit. Good tackle. Pass to number seven, Cabrera. Liam Lindo with the tackle. I'll bring up second down. Wow, he had to back up into their own end zone, and pow, here they are, almost at midfield. Second and five from the 45. E. Cooper doing a great job today. Three touchdown passes in the first half. Two to Young, one to Brown. And then a 37-yard field goal by Sabio. Sibley's in there. Look at the throw. Tip drill drops. He's looking for Cabrera. Good coverage. Third and five. If you're just joining us, James Lobstein out with a knee injury. Craig Ships, their great tight end, out with a shoulder injury. Mason Consendo is uh, not available as well. So three key guys not playing for the Skylanders today. But they're in pretty good shape with the 24-0 lead against the Erie Cats. Third down. Off we'll the play action. Cooper wide open, caught by Young. Young had two touchdowns in the first half, and he'll get the first down. We also mentioned at the top of the broadcast on November 25th, Craig Ships, James Lobstein, Jonez Coleman, and Brian Vargas will all be making a trip up to Syracuse for an official visit. That's great for the program. First and 10 from the 44, going for Brown again, and incomplete. That's just great for this program. It's only been around for a few years that a big time D1 program like Syracuse is looking at their guys. And there, and there are there are some talented players on this on, on this team that that deserve those looks and deserve those opportunities. But it's it's also when you play that top notch competition that they play. Right. And scouts that would normally be looking at you all of a sudden you grab their attention. They're uh, like, hey, who is that kid? Bad news right there, JP. Look at the bench. Young. He was banged up, missed the game. They're gonna treat him again, so Hopefully the best for Aaron Young on the second right and 10. Knee. Mead Cooper's going to take off, and he gets dragged down from behind. It won't be a sack, but 
Good job defensively by Douglas Washington. All right, Aaron Young's up and walking around. Because he went right to the bench. There Maybe he just twisted his ankle. He was on the trainer's table. And bring up third and 10. I think we'll see him back shortly. Looks like he's ready to go. I don't know why they have the clock stopped. Officials are talking. Did you see a flag? I did not. Yes, I do. Yeah. Right on the 30. Okay. Looks like it's going to be against Sussex. I don't know what for yet. We'll find out. They're, They're waving it, it off. So. I guess percentage-wise, when you throw about 30 flags a game, you should probably pick up about <laughs> two or three of them. <laughs> All right. So it'll be third and 10 from the 44 after no game, but a good job by me, Cooper, not to get sacked. See if they look for Brown again. One-on-one -on -one coverage with Perry. There is no safety help. All press coverage. Press man coverage. Meade Cooper is going to swing it out to Sibley's. Taylor Sibley's on the run. He's got a first down and more. Sibley's off to the races and from behind making a touchdown saving tackle was Anthony Jefferson. No flags. Taylor Sibley's a big run. Well, if you know anything about Sussex County football, that's not something you're... You're not used to seeing is Taylor Simpson racing down the sideline. Of course, a different colored jersey, but. Yep, and he gets it first and goal. He's a special kind of player. Yes, he is. We'll have another flag. Todd pulls us through with the outstanding athletic director here at Sussex was talking about him with us at halftime. Yeah, he's wrestling. Flag will be against Sussex. Most sports in Region 19, Sussex County Community College. Got to love it. I'll push that back to the 13. And they're looking for huge things out of their wrestling program this year. They should. They got a lot of good kids there. They get, they're loaded. They got some really good, great local talent. So Meet Cooper. Gives the Sibley's again. Breaks one tackle. Someone's hat come flying off. That was Ramos. And bring up second and goal from right from the 10. They got to be scratching their heads over there on the Erie sideline, those coaches. They just had these guys backed up in their own end zone. Yep, big play. <clears throat> You got five seconds to get the ball off. Gives the Sibleys again. He hits the hole and he gets it to about the seven instead of third and goal. He's such a hard runner, has that great acceleration through the hole. And he has that ability to hit that pile and then squeak and, out of it. And move it. Mm -hmm. Not only move it, pop out of it. Yeah. Seen him do it a million times in high school. So third and goal from about the seven yard line. Off the play action rolling out, Mead Cooper and incomplete, good coverage. Was good coverage. Liam Lindo on the coverage, set him fourth down and they'll send out the field goal unit. So Sabio, Sabio had a 37 yarder. This would be obviously much closer. Kicking from that left pass again. 20, call that a 24 yarder. Rolling the 14. Yep. Snaps good, holds good, kick is up, and that got plenty of leg and through the uprights. So, two field goals for Sabio today. He continues his very good season, and Sussex will increase its lead to 27 to 0 with 9.40 to go here in the third quarter. So they started this drive, Coach, on their own 11. Ends up with a field goal. But they started at the 11, but they got knocked back to their own two. Well, and you know what? And it looked like this, this, this whole beginning of the third quarter was going to be a bit of a disaster for, for Sussex with 
couple of big penalties early that backed them right up where they're um, running their offense out of their own end zone. And yet they, they made that, that big that big pass on what third down. Field goals of a great, great ending to what could have been a real bad drive. Sun trying to fight. Well, good thing the game is kind of going a little long, but we set back the clocks tonight, so we got an extra hour, JP. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that'll, that'll benefit Erie on the ride back. Catch an hour. Long ride down from the Buffalo area. Now, if this keeps up, it's going to be an even longer ride back. Well, they need to move the ball here, and they did. And then that big interception, that kind of spoiled everything for, I, for they, their, They've uh, just Erie. been snake bit on, you know, on their drives, you know, defensively. They, they've had Sussex in some real tough situations, and Sussex has, has gotten out of it. And, well, Turned them into points. Peoples with that big pick. They were driving. Uh, he yeah. picked it off at the yep. six. Savio Johnson fields it at the 10. Brings it up. Cuts it to the outside, and then he'll get knocked out of bounds. We Good return. We got a flag. It could be a, late, could be a late hit out of bounds. Got an injured Skylander. I think that might be Man, it's Bird. Throw, throw so many flags here, you could just pick a penalty, you know? Bird went down for Sussex. We'll see what the call is on the far sideline. I think it's going to be a late hit. I think it was a couple steps out of bounds. It'd be a hold, it looks like. Is that the initial? Is that what he said? Hold against Erie? Let's Here see. It comes. They might have <coughs> prejudged the call. Let's see. Yeah, it's a hold. So I'll put the cats back a little bit further. Well, they throw so many flags here. I can just, you know, pick out their favorite okay. penalties that they like and pick <laughs> one of them. So the first and 10 from the 17. So first possession of the third quarter with 9.29 to go. Sussex took a lot of time off. Handoff inside and gets cut down by Jack, but a nice run there on first down by Bryant Jackson. And good enough for first down. He picks up 10. Yeah, he did take a lot of time off. Ball 28, 11 yard gain for Mr. Jackson. Final regular season game, season ending game for the Cats. Mm -hmm. Sussex has two more regular season games and they hope to play an extra game in a bowl game. They gotta take care of business. We'll have to play action, they get it. And look at Tyshawn Jack with the tackle. Great tackle. Jalen Weathers. Weathers, their number one receiver had no chance. Nope, he wasn't fooled at all. That was a great play. Take a look at that. Doesn't matter what number Tyshawn's wearing. Usually it's eight, but the jersey got ripped up against Hudson Valley wearing 16 today. And he makes a great big job. stop. Ball spotted at the 15. Those are two big games that Sussex has coming up. I mean. Yes, indeed. And they're, and they're not healthy yet. They're hoping maybe James can play next week with a knee brace. Second and 13 from the 25. Lost a three on that. Wilson feels the pressure. He dumps it off. And we're going to get a hold. We're going to get a hold. Yes, that was pretty obvious. This is coming back. We got another flag. Pretty obvious hold on that. So we'll walk this back from the spot. <clears throat> and beyond the receiver. Walk that back.
Again, folks from the Morris Sussex area, you want to get your high school games on this winter, fill out the Google form on the YouTube page. We'd love to come cover your games, basketball, wrestling, you name it, we'll cover it. All right, so second down from the 23. Wilson looking to throw, rolls out, and that'll be incomplete third down. Good pressure coming in there by Mod Peoples who had the big pick. So third about six, I know 16 I'd say. Defense is keeping their intensity up. They're playing well here again, which is bad news for Erie. Erie's got nothing going on offense so far. And I, you, I don't know if that pick took the wind out of their sails. Uh, it's, it's got to play a big part. I mean, they drove the length of the field. They're ready to punch it in. That's got to deflate you. So third and long from the 23. They need to get to the 38. And that delay, yes indeed, they didn't get the snap off. So that third and long just became third and very, very long. As I said, they need to get to the 38 for a first down. Well, since he's came, came into the game, their quarterback, he's, you know, his timing's off, obviously. He's a little rusty. But he's also rusty just getting the plays off. He's He's been really pushing the clock. The play clock on, on, on a lot of on a lot of his plays, and he's sort of taken a few uh, delay games. Third and twenty from the eighteen. Dumps it off, complete, and short of the first down. Jackson with the catch. They're going to have to punt. Yep, they would have to punt. So good job by Sussex keeping him in front of the sticks. And now comes the Erie Cat punt team. Back deep, Brian Vargas for Sussex. And Vargas will be back to receive. And he's due for a big return. Yes. Catches everything and gets kicked to him. He's very aggressive. We have under seven to go here in the third quarter. Gets rid of it. Angles it away. And I think they know that about Vargas, so they've been <laughs> trying to keep that away yeah, from Yeah, they're them. all going out of bounds now. I, you know what? I would do it, too, if I, if, if I was. Julius Perry with the punts. The Sussex will get it back. And they've had great field position all game, but they, when they have bad one, bad field position, they've been scoring. <laughs> they, yeah, they, they, their offense seems to click a lot better. Right at the midfield stripe, first and 10 from the 50. The first three drives, I think, started on uh, around the 50, and they just shot themselves in the foot each time with a big holding penalty. And then they finally got in the groove. They drove 80 yards. Sibley's in the backfield with Mead Cooper to give this to Taylor Sibley's. And he's going to lean forward for about four, second and six. Second and six from the 46. Nassau won the top teams in Division Three. Reed Cooper with the throw, complete to Young. Great to see him back. And he gets wrestled down out before he picks up about 14. He was one hand slip away from his from third loose. touchdown. Yep. Caught two TDs in the first half. 12 to 36. So it's Nassau next week. Nassau next week, and then here on the 18th, against Monroe, another powerful team from the New York area. Yes, they are. This is their New York swing. You got Northern New York, Buffalo, then you got Long Island, then the Bronx. Swing it out, wide open. And Brown, is he still in bounds? Yes, touchdown! That was about a week of effort as I could have seen on that corner. First of all, he, he they just- They haven't made the indication yet. There it is, touchdown, Brown! He just backed right off him. Let him catch the ball, and then Brown's second touchdown. So Brown and Young each with touchdowns. We'll take a look at this. Did a real weak effort to tackle. I think he thought he went out of bounds. Brown tiptoes and stays in. 36-yard score for the Skylanders with 5.37 to go. So two touchdowns for Young, two touchdowns for Brown. And 
Savio will line up for the extra point. Trying to make it 34. A nice hold there. There you go. And it'll be quick as good. So Sussex will be up 34-0. And this is a game Coach James Robertson, rightfully so, was concerned about with the injuries. Well, you can as see well, Lobstein right there, number 12 in his jersey, but not wearing any pads. That's also a game he, he really needs if, it, if he wants any any shot of getting into that bowl. I mean, especially after last week, to have them come back and have this type of offensive performance, it has to be uh, a big uh, big lift to this program. Like I said, you know, if you've been around this game long enough, you're going to be in the receiving end of some of those lopsided wins. But it's good that they see that level because that's what they want to achieve that's today. Right. That's right. And Tom Poldesdorf, the athletic director who started this program as the head coach, John Kuntz did a great job with that, you know, getting that going with Dr. Connolly. It was kind of like a five-year plan. They're two years ahead. Yeah. That's a credit to Todd, James Robertson. And they're, they're, they're drawing players from all over, and like you talked about before, you got a uh, handful of them going up to Syracuse next week for an official visit. I mean, this that's... That's some pretty impressive things happening for this program right now. And the huge thing is the deal they worked out with Centenary for housing. Right. There's somewhere for these kids to live. And that allows them to recruit all over. And Johnson will field it at the four. He's going to cut out. And again, special teams is. This kickoff team does an outstanding job covering. They really do. They flew down on that one. I don't think they've, they've gotten across the 20 on any kickoff, kick return yet. Devontae Birdsong with the tackle, number 43. And that's your goal when, when you're coaching a kickoff team. You know, if, if your kickoff team is successful, you're keeping, you're keeping the receiving team behind the 20. That's exactly and they've done they that did. all day long. Ball at the 18. And <clears throat> obviously, they're going to have to throw... And trips to the far sideline. I wonder if they'll go at Fletcher. It would be a bad mistake, in my opinion. Wilson looking to throw, and that'll be complete. And that'll be a first down. Playing a little bit of the soft zone there. They are, but it's just, this is, like we know, mm -hmm. such an aggressive ball hawking secondary. You really have your work cut out for you if you think you're going to try and catch up against these guys. And it's just smart keeping in front of you. No big quick plays because that's one way a team can get back in the game is a quick strike. Right. You don't want to give up an 85 yarder. But it's a good strong union, unit. They, uh, yes, they play indeed. well together. They, 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 they know each other well. Felix, Fargus are your safeties. Look like they're on cover two right now. And look like they're going to throw it. Johnson tipped up and, and caught. It. Oh, what a play by Tyshawn Jack. Third pick of the day. That's Might be the play, play of the day. That's a great play. Watch Jack. Doesn't matter what number he's wearing. He's making an impact. Reads it. Yep. Tips it. Catches it. The old tip drill. And Sussex is going to set up shop on the, what is it, the 27? 24. 24. Already down 34 nothing. You didn't need that turnover. No. You really did. And you can feel it coming, right, Coach? Well, you you, you know, if, if that's what you're going to do, come out and, and get to throw in every play against this this Sussex County secondary, good luck. Th this is when a game can really get out of hand now. Lee Cooper gives to Taylor Sibley. She cuts to the inside, following Brown as blocker, and he's brought down from behind, but not before he gets the first down inside the 10. Sibley's trying to get his first career touchdown. On the collegiate level, had a bunch of them when he played high school for the great Matt Barzero. Yes, he did. Matt Barzero was an outstanding player here at Lenape Valley. Bring up first and goal, first and goal from the 10. See, they just continue to feed Sibley's to get him that score. They look to throw. Fushi open and takes a big hit. Letting him know all about it is Magna. But it'll be second down. 
from the seven. Looking for Brown. He's got another touchdown. Three touchdowns for Brown today. They've just been picking on that corner all day long, and there you go. That's going to be an unsportsmanlike on Sussex. 3.42 to go. Brown now with three touchdowns on the day. Just in that man coverage, he's just, it's, he just it's gets, a mismatch. He gets great position. He gets in front of, in front of the defender, and he's taller than him. He looked like a basketball player right there, getting position. It's like he's boxing him out, yep. and he just gets the ball, and that's it. A little jawing after the catch. Let's see where they're going to assess this. Makes it 40 to 0. I think they have the choice to tack this on on, on the kickoff. I think they do. Here it is. Sportsman like Sussex. Sussex so had the big lead at the half, but that was set up by the People's Touchdown. It was 17 0, and Erie's driving, and People's makes the pick. Turned the whole game around. It did. It was. That, 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 that was the play of the game. Because both teams were struggling at the time offensively. 17 7 is a lot different than 24 0. Oh, boy. And the kick is good. some pushing and shoving, but we're all right. So Sussex will go up 41 0. Again, I want to thank Sussex County Community College for sponsoring these games. Go to sussex.edu. For all the information, if you want to register for a winter class, if you want to register for the spring, everything there. A great selection of courses, great professors there. The student to professor ratio is perfect. That's a great place to start your education and continue your athletic career if you are inclined to do so. The most sports of any school in Region 19. And Region 19, for my money, JP, one of the best in the country when you have some of the great schools that are in Region 19. Oh, no question. Hey, hey Dan, when you're talking about the great professors of Sussex County Community College, are, are you, like, lumping yourself into that list? Is that what I you're doing? I am not. Okay. I let other You mentioned that a lot. I'm just saying, are you talking about yourself here, Dan? <laughs> I, should I talk in third person? <laughs> I hear Dan Cleary is a great professor. <laughs> word on the street. The word on the street. The word up here in the booth between the two of us. <laughs> the, the, the word is the voices in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm very proud that some of my students from my sports broadcasting class work in this game today. Kelly Barter working the, the board as our oh, they're producer. Great. They're great. They do such a good job. Jesse Londino working the camera. And the great Paul Arbery was here earlier. All right, Dave. It says that sportsman like on the kickoff. Little kickoff from the 20. Give Sabio a chance to try out that leg, and that's a pretty good kick. That Sends is a good Johnson kick. back to the 20, and he gets wrestled down. That's great coverage. That's great coverage. Kick it from the 20. That's a good job. Yeah, Daryl Fletcher hasn't seen too much action defensively because they're not throwing at him, so he's like, I'm going to get my tackle on specials. No, he got it, too. This is a great tackle. Here it is, Coach. Whoop. Grabbed him down. Good job on special teams. We've been talking about them all day. So first and 10 for the Erie Cats at the 32. Again, these two teams last year was a 2017 victory for Sussex, and they needed to get a late defensive stop to hold on for that win. They played at Highmark Stadium, the home of the Buffalo Bills. So a lot different this year. And they're going to hand it off. Great and tackle. Yes, indeed. Nice form tackle by Emmett Prather. Oh, we said, we've talked about that a lot today. We pointed out to certain players on the Sussex team. They, they, this is a good tackling team. Very well coached in that, in that regards. James Robertson, the head coach in D.C. I'm sure he's hoping to get it. the old donut up there, keep this a shutout. Well, this is quite a contrast for them from last week, but this is just what the doctor ordered. Wilson looking to throw. He's going to dump it off. They got him sewn up. And definitely they do. Wow. Nothing he can do there. That's number two, 
Jalen Weathers and leading the way, Benji Gore, who's getting it, uh, got an offer from Moorhead State. And also Georgetown looking at him, so good job by Benji. So third down at the 21, loss of 11 there. Moorhead State. Phil Sims. Phil Sims is old stomping ground. The number one, one of the number one. No more pick up Giants coming. Yes, out of he was. State. I remember Giant fans were upset. They wanted Johnny Lamb Jones, who the Jets took. Right. 1979. That was a good year for you. And that's could oh, be picked. Oh gosh. Fletcher almost got it. I saw that coming. He's just sitting back waiting on it. Almost got it. Fletcher. He almost had a pick earlier, but Vargas flew in in front of him and broke it up. But you can't blame Vargas for that. You don't know where the Fletcher oh, is. No. You're taught to knock that ball down wherever you see it. So fourth down. And 201 left in the third quarter. I think we'll get the old gentleman's clock in the fourth quarter. No official running time in college football. But we might get that gentleman's clock. Vargas, he hasn't had a chance to really return too much today. They're kicking away from him. And they're going to kick away again. No, he's going to fair catch. He'll put it catch. down. So Sussex will get it back. First and ten. In good field position. And they've, been, they've, they've had good field position all day. First and ten, 40, 45. We have not seen Trey Quillen, number 13. He might be coming in at quarterback. And yes, he is. South Carolina State transfer. Coach Robertson said he was going to get some looks today. And with this game Time. firmly in hand, 41-0, we'll see Mr. Quillen, see what he can do with his offense. Talk about depth, huh? Keep, keep that big offensive line in there to protect them. Exactly. Give this to Sibley's. He gets it out to the 49, picks up four, second and six. He's a big guy, Quillen. He's good size. He is a big I tell you, that, 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 that's a real good added punch for, for Sussex heading towards a potential bowl game with the emergence of uh, Thaler siblings. Yes. Because you got Murphy, who's terrific. Yep. You can develop that second running back. And there's siblings through the hole. That's a first down for him. And we all know what, what, what a great athlete he is. Correct. What a great back he is. It's just, it's just good to see him getting back in the swing of things now. At, at a high level. I at mean, a high level. This is high-level junior college football. And he's just another weapon on an offense with a lot of weapons. First and 10 from the 44. Under a minute to go, third quarter. We'll have to play action. Trey Quinlan is going to take off and stays on his feet, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Now bring up second down. And that'll be second down. Second and 10 from the 43. So not a sack if he got back to the line of scrimmage. And Mead Cooper back in there, a quarterback. So we got his taste, got it in there into the game. We'll probably see him in the fourth quarter as well. 20 seconds to go. And there's more time on the play clock, so they don't have to snap it if they don't want to. But they will. And he gives it to Sibley's. And he's met immediately. Yeah, wrapped up there. Washington in there. Excuse me, Guan with the tackle. And also, and also in there, Mays. So three quarters in the books here at Don Smolin Field here on the campus of Lenby Valley Regional High School here in Stanhope, New Jersey, in Sussex County, New Jersey. Our score, all Sussex 41-0 over Erie. We'll take a break. We'll be back with fourth quarter action right after this live on the Moore Sussex Sports Network. Looking for a robust college experience but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. Want your house to be the kind of home for all to see. Best roofing, windows, siding too. Great solar and gutters, we're here for you. Our seasoned pros are unsurpassed. So give a call, we'll take your task. Transform your home, that's what we do. So give a call, we're here for you. 
For roofing, siding, windows and solar, we do it all for you. George J. Keller and Son. Your family-owned operation since 1980. Call for your free estimate. Introducing Gemstone Orthodontics. And we're back here live at Lenby Valley Regional High School. Don Smolen Field. The great Don Smolen, longtime coach here at Lenby Valley. Seven state titles, 12 league titles. Was the winningest coach in New Jersey active when he, and he'll just throw that away, Quinlan. Got some bodies flying around. Was retired as the active winningest coach with 343 wins. So great guy, Don. So he'll be fourth down. But a big third quarter for this Sussex team. They were up 24 0, and now it's 41. They've salted it away. Well, now hopefully we see some more of uh, what the bench looks like. I mean, you really want to see some of that going into uh, the end of your season, getting in that playoff mode. Sussex will call a timeout. We're going to take a quick timeout ourselves. We'll be right back. Looking for a robust college experience, but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. Crafting your perfect smile. With a board certified orthodontist, Dr. Patel, your smile is in expert hands. Our commitment to the latest advancements in technology bring precision and comfort to your orthodontic experience. Whether you are considering braces or liners for yourself or for your child, call today at 908-852-9899 or visit us at www.gemstoneortho.com to schedule a complimentary consultation. All right, we're back after the timeout. Sussex used to get their special teams set. And Savio back to punt. And again, we mentioned James Lobstein running, throwing the ball half their offense, but he also was their punter. And right. Sa Savio has done a nice job today. Hasn't been pretty, but he's, he's gotten it done. Yep, there you go. And there's another that's ugly one. Another one. But it's inside be, the 20. Be like so a all that matters. 40 yard punt. And we got a flag. So that can be on who? There's some shenanigans on the far sideline we did not see. Erie will get it first and 10. Ball spot at the 10. We'll see what the call is here. But after their tough loss last week to Georgia Military, and again, we talked to Jim Robinson about it. That's what his team needed. They didn't need to lose 73-6, but they need to see that next level. That's what they have to aspire to be. Yeah. And that penalty is going to be against Erie. See what the call is here. And it will be a hold. And I don't think Erie expected to come in here today and have this happen to him either. No, I don't think so. After last year's game was so tight. And I'm sure looking at film, they saw that James was hobbling. Right. And, and Sussex got beat up pretty good last week, and they thought this was a real opportunity for him. I think so, too. So first and ten from the five for the Cats, who are three and six, their final game of the two, uh, 2023 season. That's a credit to the Sussex County coaching staff. You got to, you know, tip your hat to them. They got these guys revved up and refocused, which is not, you know, easy to do considering what happened last week. Wilson gets it, and it's going to be complete to Weathers. But they have, and, you know, they just look fantastic in all, asset, all facets of the game this today. Offense, defense, special teams, with a bunch of injuries. With three picks on defense. Prather with the big one. Right. That was the big one, but the fun one was Tyson and Jack, tip drill. Yeah. Pull out to the eight, pick up three, second and seven. So we got some different guys. Henderson in there, 76. Right up the middle, and a nice run, and that's a first down. Damian Littleton. So first and 10. Ball out to 24. Chili. First down. You hear that deal? There's a good deal. One dollar for ZD, mac and cheese, pretzels. 
<clears throat> I think you got to finish off the game for me, JP. Nah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta there you go. Go, go I, get him. I got about three singles in my pocket. <laughs> you get one of each now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then I'll tell you how it is because I'm not going to share. <laughs> It's a bargain at twice the price. <clears throat> Wilson looking to throw, has a receiver, incomplete. <clears throat> Good defense there, excuse me, folks. And on the defense, Christian Thomas, number 32. So we got some different names in there for the Skylanders. But what a historic year it's been. It's been a great season. <clears throat> Closing in on their sixth win. They set a record when they beat Hudson Valley for their fifth win. They have an opportunity for a bowl game. Absolutely. And you know what? It's They've beaten the teams they should beaten. Whereas last year, last couple of years, they've struggled with that. That's why they went four and six right. as they were trying to find themselves as a program. And then this year, this would have been a game last year that would have been a dogfight. Right. But the level of talent that's been brought in, new coaches coming in, Coach Sally coming from Oklahoma State, I mean, big-time Division One program. Yes. <clears throat> Ball to 24, third and nine. And we talked about some of the players that are going up for the official visit uh -huh. at uh, Syracuse next year. Wilson going for the home run ball, and that'll be incomplete, but we got a flag. Yeah. Two flags. But I'd like to see uh, what the coach has on his mind for what he's bringing in next year. You know, after a year like this. Well, it's a constant process. This this program uh, is very attractive to a lot of players. Certainly. It's a constant process on the junior college level to recruit. Because you can have one class come in, come out, people leave. You're always on the, the always. hunt for new players. And Sussex is an attractive place, not only because they play a national schedule almost with Lackawanna and Georgia, but they also 45, 50 miles from New York City. If you're a kid from outside the area, that's an attractive thing for you. And plus, it's great academically, first of all. But the location is prime. Yeah, especially for scouts who want to come here and watch you. Mm -hmm. All right. Different guys in there now for Sussex on defense. We'll have another flag, and that'll be on the Cats. We'll push that back, be first and 15. And you have a fertile recruiting area. New Jersey, great high school. Pen Eastern, P Eastern P Pennsylvania, right. great high school. New York State. New York, you know, the Hudson Valley, a little bit lower. You can get those guys and the kids from Long Island. I mean, I remember years ago, Nassau was a pipeline to Rutgers. Right, right. So Lackawanna's a pipeline to Penn State. Yes, it is. And why shouldn't Sussex become a pipeline to Rutgers? Georgia military sends people to Georgia, Clemson, right. all those SEC schools. So first and 15. And looking for Johnson and Fletcher's there. We had him for a second. Only a second. No, Fletcher only needs a half second. <laughs> <laughs> Second and 15. And he's going to be, if he's not already, I'm sure he's popping up on a lot of uh, He's got to be. A lot of big time program screens. He's not standing corner. I got to find out, ask Coach, where Hollywood Gale is playing. Hollywood was two year yeah. player. Hollywood was terrific. Um, I know he, I, I forget the name of the school he went to. But he, he yeah, he, he great he leader. Did go somewhere, Hollywood. And a terrific defensive player, but even a better leader. Guy you want on your team. What a character that guy oh, was. Oh, I loved, loved the interview in Hollywood. Wilson on second and long, no one there. Incomplete double coverage. As he was looking for Trent Johnson. And we talked about coming into the game, Johnson and Weathers are combined 88 catches for Erie, so they can move the ball. But this Sussex defense is a different level. They just haven't looked good at all today on, on defense or offense. They've had a couple of glimmers, but Sussex has slammed the door in every opportunity that they've had. So third and 15. Next week, Sussex will play a Division Three power in Nassau. And down the 
the far sideline. No flags, incomplete. Fourth and 15 from the 33. But uh, it can't be, it. yeah, I think they should. It can't be understated how far this program has come. And to do it during the pandemic, trying to get on your feet. That, you know what, for a brand new program to start now, that pandemic should have killed it. Right. It killed so many businesses and so mm -hmm. many other things. I mean, that's athletics is not immune. And that's a credit to Dr. John Connolly, Dr. Homer over there at the college, at the higher levels, and John Kuntz and Todd Poulter's who are for plowing along. And they stayed with it. They, they hung in there. We'll get rid of it. Vargas fair catch. Yeah, a, a huge team ever. And I know you were helping out that first year. Coach, uh, we had two football seasons in, inside of <laughs> right, we had six months spring in the fall. The spring and the fall season. Taking a trip out to Erie, Pennsylvania twice in four months to play hockey was... Shout out to Yikes. What a trip. But... And then we had the spring season, and then we we just continued on into the Yeah, it just rolled in. So first and ten from the forty. And you know what? It, it it was it was good in the respect that um, a Sussex County community football was always out there, you know. And Everybody back in there, and he could be gone. That's Murphy. This could be a sixty-yard touchdown. No, he's knocked out of bounds. So we'll get about 57. Let's take a look at that. He got a big no hole. Flags. Right there, and then he turns on the Jets and give credit to Erie. They didn't give up on the play. No good pursuit angle. First and goal. But yeah, during that pandemic year where everything was shut down, this program kept going. Ball on the six. And it stayed on everybody's mind. 54 yard run. Got some different numbers in there for Sussex. We'll give you them in a second. Quinlan's going to keep it himself. Ball to the keeper, a few yards. Isaiah Osmo Crandall in 65. Also in. Number 69. Don't have a number for 69. Let me double check here. And they're on offense. Jonas Coleman's still in there. He's a he is a Division One prospect, number seventy four. Big guy, great feet. Your lineman. It's fun to watch him play. He's still in there. The center, number seventy seven. Big Billy Quinn is still yep. in there. Give us to Murphy. He's going to get stopped short of the goal line. And unfortunately for Billy, when, when you're the center, you're not getting too many breaks. No, you're staying in there, man. He's a good player, good kid. Yep, Sparta product. Now set of third and goal. Third and goal from the two. We need a timeout. Timeout Yuri. taken by Yuri. We're going to step aside as well. We'll be right back. Looking for a robust college experience, but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Choosing a college is a big, big, big deal. But I know I started right, because CCMs are the top 2% of community colleges in the nation. And at County College of Morris, I get to choose over 100 programs. Whether you're just out of high school, like me, exploring career options, like me, or seeking lifelong learning, like me, make CCM your choice, like me. Go big and visit CCM. All right, we're back here at Lenin Valley High School, Don Smolenfield in Stanhope, New Jersey, in lovely Sussex County. A beautiful early November day. 
And Skyline is looking to tack on another score. They're up 41-0 over Erie. Dan Cleary along with J.P. Beebe. Thanks for joining us on a beautiful Saturday. So on third and goal. Quinlan looking to throw, and it's caught, and it's a touchdown. They scored on that play earlier in the game in the second quarter. Great play. Fouché with the touchdown. That's Quinlan's first touchdown pass. So congratulations to Trey. To your touchdown. Take a look at that. Well-designed route. Came around, takes it in. That's the second time they scored on that. They, they tried to throw it. Oh, we got another flag. This is going to be another unsportsmanlike. I think this was on Erie. Oh. <clears throat> Down 47 0. The frustration, you know, it mounts. I wouldn't know anything about that. <laughs> What are they doing here? Okay. Unsportsmanlike on oh, Sussex. So they'll be kicking off in their 20 again. So extra point. Savio, who's got a good game today? Two field goals. Very busy man today. He's been a busy man all season with all the points that Sussex puts up with his offense. Yeah, two field goals. This full of extra points. All those kickoffs. He's got a good leg, and there's a guy that someone should be looking at on the four-year level. That's right. He could kick at the four-year school somewhere. So the extra point's good. And they'll push the lead to 47 to zero. Check that 48. So an impressive victory. For the Skylanders team as we have 9.16 to go here in the fourth quarter. They busted it open, took the 24-0 lead at the half, but this one could have been 17-7 as they were marching Erie. And the big pick made by Peoples. That was the game turner. That, that switched all the momentum, took the wind out of Erie's sails. That was it. Sussex never looked back. Sussex will make that trek to Long Island. A couple years ago, they had Nassau, who was ranked top three in the country in Division Three, on the ropes and lost a tough one, 20 to 17. Right. So they would love to go out to Nassau and knock them off. Well, they're quite capable. Yeah, absolutely. They, 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 that's nothing that's not out of the realm. I just think it's impressive coming off such a tough defeat last week to Come in here, keep your head up, and take care of business. I think that, that speaks uh, a lot to uh, about this team and about this coaching. My stats are correct. Uri was 1-9 last year, for, so they've won a couple more games. So they got a good man in charge of Mike Kemp, who's been a winner everywhere he's coached, Plymouth State, Utica. And as we said, he's on the Wall of Fame for Notre Dame Wrestling. So if there's anyone who can get this turned around, and, and there's a good talent base in uh, New York State up there. And fielded at the five by Damian Malley, and he's finally brought down to 36, so Erie will get the ball back first and 10. Orchard Park High School produced Jim Burt, Super Bowl champ with the Giants and the Niners. That's right. No, we talked about it. This is a good football area. Buffalo definitely is. In Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey. One, one time, Buffalo had all those colleges in basketball. Canisius, right. Niagara, all great basketball schools up there. Great Calvin Murphy played there. And only one ball allowed, right? We're not playing indoor? No. Or crazy league? Like that banana league, whatever, the Savannah Bananas in <laughs> baseball? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Right. Guy's pitching wearing stilts. <laughs> At first I thought it was Randy Johnson, but then, no, <laughs> he had stilts. On the give. Trying to cut it to the outside, and he needs to knock that out of bounds. A nice carry there for Brian, Brian Jackson. 
And we'll have the gentleman's clock. Clock's still running. So everything that they've hoped for for this season is still out there for Sussex. I mean, it would have been a major victory to beat Lackawanna and Georgia. They knew that going in. Right. So but but they know where they stand program-wise. Mm -hmm. They know what they need. They, knew, they know where they have to build. I mean, they, they created this program in such huge leaps and bounds. The fact that they're even playing these teams is amazing. And it's not like they're beating up on weak sisters. These are teams that beat them earlier in their, you know, what, only a couple of Jackson with the carry, another first downs. They're looking to get a score on the on the scoreboard here with their first unit. Sussex got a lot of reserves in there. But like you said, you know, the, the recruiting here is a, is a constant process. These games are big games for both programs. When you're talking about recruiting, you know, mm -hmm. where kids are trying to make their decisions on where they want to go, what's going to give them the best opportunity to get to that next level? And a big thing for junior college football is the kids coming back that went D1 or D2 and didn't see the light of day on the field. That's right. And they got frustrated with their choice. They thought it was a good choice to begin with. Just wasn't the right fit. It didn't work. And they come back. That's I can right. speak to that when Rowan got very good in football. Casey Keeler and John Bunting, the head coach. Bunting was the head coach. Keeler became the head coach. They got kids from Jersey that went D1 that didn't see time, came right. to play with Rowan, and they built Rowan into a power in the 90s. Right, right. There's just so much talent in Jersey alone. So on second down. Jackson, he gets wrapped up. That's Benji Gore. No, that's uh, Peoples, the guy that had the Jackson interception. So we are approaching 6.30 to go in this one. This is the deepest year he's been in a while. Since this the game. pick. But you know what? It, when, when you're in a game like this and, and the score is out of hand, you still have to keep playing. So you can't look at that scoreboard. You got you to gotta make something positive here. You got to build on something. And that's not how you do it. No. Sussex got the ball. Sussex has it. Who's on the bottom of the pile with the ball? Abby Emmett Prather with the recovery. So three picks, a couple fumbles. You score like this, you gotta, you gotta look at the score and, and, and try and take it off in slices. You know, like John Kuntz, back in the day, the former AD here, when he was a head basketball coach at Pope John, and I coached with him. We'd have a couple games where, you know, we'd be down by 15, 16, 17 points. It seemed like an insurmountable score. And he would he would set a time frame and say, listen, you know, we get six minutes into the, in, into the second half. No, I only want to be down by, you know, 11. Right. He just chip away, chip away. Because if you try and say, look at that scoreboard, look where we are. Quinlan looking for the long ball for Young, and Young caught it. He just went up and got Wow. That's my jumped him. That's my athlete against your athlete. That and was a fabulous catch. Quinlan with the throw, and Young with the catch. First and 10 with 5.40 to go. Look That's at this. That's a great play. He just went up and got him. Yep. Got that ball at its highest point. Now the give is to Murphy. And he gets wrapped up. But I was what I was just trying to say was that, you know, you get a big score like that, you try and chip away, chip away, chip away. But this game is now out of reach for Erie, obviously. But... You like to see something positive if you're on that team happen for you. Even if it's a stop or a score or something. I think they're off sides. And Quillen's going to throw it up there. Go get it. Got it. And the dude touchdown. Right. And that's Brown again. Tips. Was there a flag on that? Were they off sides? No. And I think they just held it. Wow. Brown's got four touchdowns. That was a great wow. catch. He made that, that catch is. around his knees. And that was Quinlan with the throw. You need a holder. There you go. Oh. 
All set up for the extra point with five minutes to go, 54-0. Billy Flynn. Sussex will take a time out here. They're not sure what they're going to do. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Looking for a robust college experience, but not the huge debt? Then stop by Sussex County Community College to learn about all we have to offer. From an array of degree options to a vibrant campus life, Sussex is the place to start. Visit sussex.edu slash apply to learn more. is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Back after the timeout taken by Sussex. Extra point. Try to make this an even double nickels. He must ice down his leg after games like this, Samuel. Oh, <laughs> He's so busy. I'm sure he will today. 5-0. So Brown with four TDs, Young with two. Great effort here by Sussex today. Got off to a little slow start, but they really picked up the momentum, and they've kept their foot on the pedal. Yeah, it took a while to get in the sink, but once they did, they was basically unstoppable. And they just wore out the very game, eerie team coming down from Buffalo. And as Sussex progresses, they might have to travel more to pick up games. Because if they start wiping people out like Lackawanna, they have to travel to play games. Right. And I know next year, Snow College out in Utah is interested in playing them. Snow Sussex. College right now, I think, is what? Ranked two or three? Mm -hmm. Something like that. And my understanding is they would kind of foot most of the bill for them because they can't get anyone to come to Utah. <laughs> right, right. But that's where you, that's a problem you want to have. Right. It being the only junior college program in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. That's why they don't play New Jersey Cap anymore. They don't play the Warriors. They, they don't, don't have to. It doesn't help you. Exactly. It was great to start the program mm -hmm. off and, and build it. Now, you know, you're good enough. Step up and start playing a real competition. That's what they've been doing. And then if you're going to play a Division Three, you play Nassau, who's a very good Division Three. Right. Johnson fields it. And he's going to get No, spins out. And now he's going to get brought down. And make sure everyone stays smart here. Hey, folks, want to thank Dr. John Connolly, Dr. Homer, Todd Poldesor, Tracy Smith in the athletic office, Kathleen Peterson, and marketing director at Sussex for helping us get these games on, more Sussex Sports Network. And remember, go to sussex.edu, start here, go anywhere. It's a great place to go academically and athletically, and you won't break the bank. And with the high cost of higher learning these days, Sussex is a great option. Well, you talk about uh, Sussex County Community College and how quickly this program has grown and how successful it's been. And that's a good point you make in saying that, you know, Snow College is interested in playing Sussex County Community College. Right. I mean, they are at the upper echelon of junior college football. Mm -hmm. I think for just gauging for what this year still keep hockey on your schedule they gave him a game right still right. play nassau we'll play lackawanna play lackawanna definitely georgia military different story not because they beat him so bad it's just the logistics of the travel the travel you know being on a bus for 16 yeah. hours doesn't help anybody you know if rolling gonna, into your game at two o'clock in the morning is, right it's not helpful and if you're going to play them then play maybe in north carolina right or maryland like a midway point Everyone gets an eight-hour ride. Yeah, but you, you can't cruise in the middle of the night. Expect to be ready to go at one o'clock in the afternoon. You got nowhere to go. Right. Nowhere to lay down. That's it's hard. But such is the life of junior college football. It certainly is. 
a little sacrificing I, to get there I, to the next level. I like the thing we play Army prep, West Point prep. Keep that right. on the schedule. We got mm -hmm. Navy prep up there too. I don't know if they're going to play Navy again. That didn't end well the last time those two teams played. A lot of off-field stuff happened. Uh, um, so, but Thaddeus Stevens, Williamson, you still play them because they're fairly nearby and they're going to want a game. Right. Because you don't want to have them lose a game. And, and you know. But the fact that Snow College is calling your, your mm -hmm. AD to, to your availability speaks volumes about your program. Absolutely. And it's a great experience for the young men from Sussex to go out and see a whole different world. Sure. Wilson looking to throw. Little knuckleball. That's caught. That's Raheem McIver with under three minutes to go. And then, you know, the idea is to get them to become a national power like Lackawanna, like Georgia Military. And then you think back to the kids that came to Sussex to start it, the Nick Molinari's, the right. Mafaro's, right. Uh, the Ryan Marshall's right. from Sussex Tech. Those are the guys that laid the foundation and made it happen and made the program competitive so these top-level kids said, you know, I can go to Sussex and, and we're going to be all right. So a big shot. And, and again, not to beat the dead horse and to do it during the pandemic. Right. And Brian Marshall, you know, a Sussex Tech alumni, first Sussex Town Community College captain. Yes. And he's just finishing up his senior year playing for William Patterson. He'll be graduating in the spring. That's great to hear. Hand off inside. Hand off to Jackson. Stop by. Tackle made by Brian Askins. And Ryan definitely wants to be a teacher and a coach. And all good stuff. He helped out at uh, Sussex Tech this year before William Patterson season started. But like you said, you know, go to Sussex County Community College. You could, it's a gateway. You could do whatever. It's a gateway. Plenty of time to throw, and it is caught. That was in quadruple coverage. Yes, it is, and they found the spot. And this is the final game of the season for Erie. So they're going to finish three and seven. Sussex is going to move to six and two as they continue their historic run. Yeah, but you know what? I, what I like about this Erie team, like I said, you know, you, you be around this game long enough, coaching or whatever, playing, and you're going to be on the receiving end of these tough lopsided scores. But the you still have to keep playing. You well, don't I'm give no up. Doubt. You still got to keep playing, and they're they're still trying to score here. And that's what they're going to do and build on. That's incomplete, and Fletcher Just gives them a, a good shot. Hit. But the games that they played this year, they be, I mean, they lost the East Coast Prep 34-20. They beat Thaddeus Stevens 27-24. They killed Buffalo State's JV 61-8. Lost to Bro SUNY Brockport's JV 37-28. Got wiped out by the College of DuPage, which is a school that Sussex should think about playing, along with, along with Louisburg. Right. Um, and tough losses to Hudson Valley, two of them, 14-12 and 7-6. Mm -hmm. So this team is right there with the competition that they have. Again, Coach Kemp, good man to have running the show. Oh, almost dangerous pass. Yep, got knocked Very down. Very dangerous pass. So, and third down, we'll see how many more plays we got going here. 43 seconds. Well, the one way to erase a tough loss like you took last week is you turn the favor the following week. Hey, yeah. I want to take this time to thank our great crew here at Morris Sussex Sports, Savannah, Savannah Williams working the end zone cam. Jesse Londino up top as he throws it into coverage. That's picked by Gary Felix. And he's going to turn to the side. He's brought down another pick. With 29 seconds to go, but a great job by Savannah. Up top, Jesse Londino and the great Kelly Barta working the board as our producer. Great job by all of them today. If you want to find out who our player of the game is and all the post-game reaction, go to the Morris Sussex Sports social media. Jesse Londino will be getting the interviews from the winning Skylanders. 
And we want to thank Climate Care for sponsoring our players of the game. So 29 seconds to go. Now when we saw them against Hudson Valley, they did not take the pedal off the metal. There was no victory formation. They were thrown no. for a score. Is that the back of their mind right now? Well, college football, it's not just winning, it's winning impressively, so. Well, we got a penalty, and defense has to go back out there, so that, that will not count as a pick. Hold against the Skylander, so Erie has a couple more shots to try to get it in the end zone. And J.P. Beebe, my partner, coaching at Sussex Tech this year, a historic year for the Mustangs. If you're from the Morris Sussex area, they won their first ever state tournament game. Guys won, what, seven games? Seven games. It was a great year for these guys. The record, school record was eight. Came a little short, but you still got a, the year you won eight games, you didn't win a state game. So you guys won no. a state game this year. No. The year we won uh, eight games, we lost Leonard P in the, in the playoffs. Right on this field. And this year we beat Leonard P in the regular season. So you did. It was a good year. Very good year. Wilson running for his life. Directing traffic has someone open. He's got it. him. And it's caught touchdown, Erie. <laughs> Got to love that they're not giving up. Nope. They they kept on playing. I mean, good for them. Wilson finds Isaiah Kelly for the score. <laughs> Coach Robertson a little upset. I think he was hoping for a shutout. So a good job. And a touchdown for them with 18 seconds to go. So they got a little something. I mean, it doesn't make up for the long afternoon, but a positive note to end their season on as they'll finish three and seven. They didn't quit. That's that's the important thing. I mean, it's very easy for these games to get out of hand on, on at this level. <coughs> but they kept on playing. This is what you do when you're playing football when you're on there. No matter what the scores, you keep playing. All right, they'll line up for two. Wilson will roll. He's going to throw it back, has a receiver, and it's broken up. And no flags. All right, so the extra point attempt on a two-point, no good. Keeps the score 55 to 6. And <clears throat> again, a big thank you to everyone at Sussex for making this happen. And again, our condolences to Kathleen Peterson and her family. She lost her mom this week. She's a big part of Sussex and why they're successful as the marketing director. So we send our best to, to Kathleen and her family on their loss. Yes. And we'll have a kickoff with 18 seconds to go. And at this point, you just don't want anything, something stupid to happen here. No. On the kickoff is... Is always a dangerous proposition to begin with. And we don't want something bad happening This type happening of situation, here. somebody could get hurt. Right. And if you're, you know what, play. if you're Erie, you've got a seven, eight year old ride. Someone's got to stay and keep an eye on the kid if he has to go to the hospital. That's right. Something, you know, those, those are the little things people. You think the onside kick? Uh, Looks like they're setting up know. for it. Look I at the ball. I don't know why, but they are. But. Oh. You said they're not giving up. Well, they're not giving they're up. They're not giving up, I guess. I just, you know, with this much time left, I just wouldn't want to risk a an Robert, injury. Robertson calling a timeout. He wants to set his hands team up. You might be telling him, pick it up and go. Yeah. Don't fall on it. If you see a little daylight, go. So our next game on the Morris Sussex Sports Network with the Skyliners will be in two weeks, one o'clock here on Saturday, November the 18th against Monroe. Sussex with six wins. Will they have seven wins going into that game? Well, that'll be determined next week when they go on the road to Nassau. And we always joke, as the crow flies, Nassau is a two-hour ride, but you have to go through New York. <laughs> Got to go through the Bronx and Queens yeah, to get I, there, and that could be a five-hour ride. I drive into New York every day. Yeah, uh, you know better than anyone. Oh, boy. 
You take which tunnel? So I, 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 I take the Lincoln the Tunnel in and the Holland Tunnel out. Because the Holland Tunnel isn't open when I go in. Well, that's correct. They're working on that. There All they right. go. And that's a pretty good kick. <coughs> yeah, that was well designed. And I think they said what we said they were going to do. Pick it up and run it. And Young yeah. does. Said he just landed on it. And that'll be early. They're going to stop the clock with eight seconds left. All right, Dan, did he take a victory formation? Does he take it one throw into the end zone? I think he's taking another shot. I think he had a tell. He did against Hudson Valley. Why not today? Young almost got a touchdown on the return. This is where officials' discretion just let that clock run out. Yeah. And he's sending his first unit out there with Quinlan. And they are not setting up in a victory formation. They're no. going for another score. Trips left. Doesn't look like a victory formation. No. This looks like a slant formation. Caleb, Caleb Rippey from Jefferson, number 10, out there. Maybe we're going to look for him to get a touch as a local kid. And they're going to toss it up. Looking for Fouché. And it'll be almost intercepted, but not. So they're going to get another throw. So, again, go to our Morris <laughs> Sussex Sports social media. Get all our post-game reaction from Jesse Londino. So, JP, you'll be here in a couple of weeks, be, uh, bud? Oh, Close. yeah, I'll be All here. All right. I think it would be a much closer game against a very good Monroe team. I think so, too. All right, final play. Quinlan, and he's going to give it to Murphy, and that will end it. So, congratulations to Sussex. They will win their sixth game. They go to 6 and 2 with a 55 to 6 victory. Erie ends its season. Three and seven for the Morris Sussex Sports Crew. My partner, JP BB. I'm Dan Cleary. We'll see you again soon live on the Morris Sussex Sports Network. They'll be fourth down. See if they have a long, long snap here to see if Sussex jumps low. And they come after, but getting rid of it is Perry. Vargas will catch it on the 39 in a great open field tackle. Good job. Rushing down there and making the stop. They need to get into a rhythm, JP. This is what they need to do. They can't have penalties. When they're in a rhythm, they're in good shape. And they get it to Cabrera. That's a first down and more. And Cabrera will get it inside the 50. Great job. Great yards after catch. Second and short, Murphy looking to throw He's as a it. receiver, and it's caught, and we're going to have a flag. That'll probably be pass interference, but who are they going to call it on? Perry reached across and put his hands on him. The line coach is right. I mean, the line coach is right there. Right there. All right, third and goal off the play action. Wide open, touchdown, yeah. Young. And that might be a pick up about six ball on the and like you said, they have so many different weapons here. It's it's hard to defend against all of them. Looking to throw again, one-on-one -on -one coverage. And it's caught. caught. And a flag. And high snap gets it down. Kick is up and that's good. Gets in. Good job by Savio. He bet. Window fielded at the four. And great coverage. Great coverage. Flying down there and making that tackle is Prince Breed in number one. And Wilson, under pressure, gets rid of it and almost Ooh, picked. Almost picked. And it was there. going right to Fletcher, but Vargas played the ball. E. Cooper still in there, Murphy at running back. Best field position of the day to start. Off the play action, they're gonna dump it off to Murphy and a great tackle, flying up there. Tackle. Three. And they're gonna swing it over. This could be a pass, but no. Great job by Erie reading that. Not fooled one. Bro, that was gonna be a double pass or an option pass. So the ball all the way up to the 46. Lost the 13. Now we're gonna go vertical here. And they're gonna throw it up, going against Perry and caught it. it! What a catch! E. Cooper swings it over, we got hey, a flag. Yes. It's a touchdown. It's going to come back. They're going to call a pick. 
I think 81 was blocking before the ball was released. That'd He's be, clapping. No, no. Something's going Let on. Go. Offensive. Two gunners here. Taylor Sibley's and Prince Breeden for Sussex. We'll see if they get down there. Fielded by Weathers. Reverse. And it, they fake the reverse. And a great tackle. That's a great tackle. Gary Felix with a great tackle. Play action over the middle. Has a receiver and it's caught. Pressure comes. They came Goes, after him. Gets rid of it. And did he catch that? I it is it, a catch. I thought it found him on second and nine from the 11. Unless something's wide open. He's going to look to throw. And it's intercepted. And he's going to go. He's got one guy to beat. Gets that block. He cuts it into the middle. It's by Erie. Not too much help with the safeties. Perry playing. And Lindo playing press coverage. And this is Taylor Sibley's on the run. Sibley's still going, and he's inside the 30. Taylor Sibley. That's a great run. One coverage on the far sideline. Got Cabrera, Ramos, Fushi. They're going to look for Brown one on one. He's there. Touchdown, Sussex. What a great throw, but we got a flag. Ooh, I don't know. I just want to get out of get out. Of Wilson's going to look to throw over the middle, and he's going to be picked off. That's a big mistake. Right there, Jacques Al open. Ramos wide open. He's got the first down and more. Still on his feet. Victor Ramos, and a big job and catch there. Press man cover. Steve Cooper going to swing it out to Sibley's. Taylor Sibley's on the run. He's got a first down and more. Sibley's off to the races and from behind, making a Touchdown saving tackle. Snaps good, holds good, kick is up, and that got plenty of leg and through the uprights. So two field goals for Sabio today. He continues his very good season. Extra game in a bowl game. You gotta take care of business. Well, to play action, they get it. And look at Tyshawn Jack with the tackle. Great tackle. Jay Weathers, their number one receiver, had no chance. Then you got Long Island, then the Bronx. Swing it out, wide open. And Brown, is he still in bounds? Yes, touchdown. They, they, they know each other well. Felix, Vargas are your safeties. Look like you're on cover two right now. And looks like they're gonna throw it. Johnson tipped up they and caught. It. Oh, what a play by Tyshawn Jack. Third pick of the day. Second down. Seven, looking for Brown. He's got another touchdown. Three touchdowns for Brown today. Save you a chance to try out that leg, and that's a pretty good kick. That Sends is a good Johnson kick. back to the twenty, and he gets wrestled down. That's great coverage. That's great coverage. Kicking from the twenty. That's a good job. Yep. John fans were upset. They wanted Johnny Lamb Jones, who the Jets took. Right. 1979. That was a good year for you. And that's could be oh, picked. Gosh. Fletcher almost got it. I saw that coming. He's just sitting back waiting on it. Always out there. You know. And Everybody back was, in there. And he could be gone. That's Murphy. This could be a 60-yard touchdown. No, he's knocked out of bounds. On third and goal. Quinlan looking to throw, and it's caught, and it's a touchdown. They scored on that play earlier in the game, in the second quarter. Good play. Fouché with the touchdown. That's Quinlan's first touchdown pass. So second down. Jackson, he gets wrapped up. Benji Gwar, no, that's uh, Peoples. You still have to keep playing, so you can't look at that scoreboard. You gotta, you gotta make something positive. Here. You gotta build on something. That's not how you do it. No. Sussex got the Sussex ball. has it. Who's on the bottom of the pile with the ball? We are. Quinlan looking for the long ball for Young, and Young caught it. He just went up and got Wow, that's my. Jumped him. That's my ass. Quinlan's gonna throw it up there. Go get it. Got it. And the dude touchdown. Right. And that's Brown oh, again. 
Is there a flag on that? Were they offsides? No. And I think they just held him. Jesse Londino up top as he throws it into coverage. That's picked by Gary Felix. And he's going to turn to the side. He's brought down another pick. Wilson running for his life. Directing traffic has someone open. Got him. And it's caught touchdown, Erie. Gotta love that they're not giving up. 